I forgot they were friends. Oh my gosh, I'm rethinking my whole Ariana stand card. <laughs> I Maybe I should take it all back. <laughs> I know. She's secretly just there with like Helene making fun of my weight, being like, look off this fat whale. the Just Trish podcast. Today is Hot Topics, where we just talk and talk and talk about all the frivolous excitement that's gone on in entertainment this past week. I'm your host, Just Trish, but it's not Just Trish here today. No, we have my co-host, Oscar, and my husband and tech man, <laughs> Moses. Oh, you guys both have the pink skull happening. Okay. We got Where's the yours memo. from? You, how did you know? Because this is like, by the way, this is our Halloween set, but we're not in Halloween costume yet. Next week, we'll start our Halloween episodes um, because today we're going to talk about the Golden Bachelor. My mom's the Golden Bachelorette is coming on later, so I dressed in bachelor fashion. But next week, we're starting the Halloween costumes, and I'm so excited about it. How did you know the pink skull memo? How did you get it? Well, first of all, last week, you literally pointed out the pink skeleton <laughs> that was sitting in the corner, so <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I think I've like picked up on the context clues. Wow, you're... <laughs> This is why you're so smart. Like, for real. You pick up on stuff so good. So, I don't know. It's amazing. Like, you pick up on everything. Like, you're so smart. I pick up on nothing. Like, nothing like that. And I like that Olivia Rodrigo trend. And have you seen it? <laughs> I pay attention to things that most, most people, people ignore. ignore. Yeah. That's very, like, me coded. How come you yeah. never do TikToks? You know what? I on for, It's just a little bit too much for me. Like, it's just like another like platform. Like, yeah. We're manifesting Olivia Rodrigo coming on the podcast. She's the, my new, like, focus. Like, I think, and I think we can get her. You think so? She, okay, so I didn't know this, but so many people sent me that Olivia commented on a meme of you on a TikTok. Oh, really? I felt like two weeks ago, but I don't check my DMs ever. Then randomly, I'm like, let me just look. And like 20 people sent this to me and were like, you can get Olivia. And then they got me believing it. Oh that my I'm like, gosh. We can get- Wait, what? did you send it to me? Why did I- Yes, I sent it to you because so many people sent it to me. I didn't see it. I know you te- texted me, but I didn't it was, see it. It was so you doing something from Mean Girls. Like, my, my name is Trish. Something, oh, something the like, teeth yeah, is yeah, shiny. Yeah. It's Mean Girls yes. Broadway. It's actually yes. like Renee Rapp. No, I don't think it was Renee Rapp. It was someone else, but yeah. But Olivia comments What'd on she it. say? <laughs> She said, I love it. Ha, 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 ha. So she loves you. Wow, period. So she's right. going to come on. Because yes. there's no other context. I didn't know what it was. I thought maybe it was a sound someone used of me or something. But if it's actually me singing. It was your face. Yeah. A video of you. Oh, my God. We would love to see Olivia Rodrigo so on I here. Really, I do believe that that she's going to come on soon. Okay. Yes. To promote the vampire song. <laughs> yes. I like that one. Did she do a music video already for it? Yes. You would actually. It's very theatrical. You oh, man. I got to look at it. Yeah. Um, we love Olivia Rodrigo. We stand her. Mm-hmm. More so than Taylor Swift. I'm so over Taylor Swift. Over it. Aren't you over it? I'm so, so over it. Be, yeah. be for real. <gasps> I know. The tides are turning. No, I'm never going to turn on her. Okay, okay. Ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, listen, yeah. Listen, listen. <laughs> but I, okay, last week I was kind of excited. Travis Kelsey is hot and I was like, cute football. But then you believed in turn. it. I believed it. Yeah. I, mean, I knew it was PRE, but I still was into the, the fantasy. Right. And then the seemingly ranch meme happened. And then every. The what? You didn't oh, see Oh, the, the chicken and. With the ketchup and seemingly but what ranch. What was that? Oh, wait, seemingly ranch. I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, so a Stan account on Twitter um, posted an update. Uh, Taylor Swift is seen eating a chicken tender with ketchup and seemingly ranch dressing. And it became a meme because it was obviously ranch. <laughs> oh, it's not a brand. Seemingly is not the brand. No, it's just- <laughs> I was like, wow, good sponsorship. How do they know it's seemingly and not Hidden no. Valley? <laughs> <laughs> seemingly yeah, ranch. Okay. And it became a meme. And then like every <laughs> Heinz made a special bottle, seemingly ranch bottle, McDonald's. No. Yes. McDonald's took it, ran with like all these brands started chiming in. And then the NFL is changing their TikTok bio, their Twitter header, their Twitter bio. And then I'm just like, okay, mm. this is getting like too much even for me. Like I, and I feel bad for like the, uh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> who do you feel bad for? <laughs> the streets. No! So who were <laughs> not the straight. I caught myself saying it and like almost threw up. I feel bad for the straight men no, who are ew, trying never. to tune in a football and then are just being like Ugh. inundated with like Taylor Swift songs and Taylor Swift in the crowd and every like all the Taylor Swift puns and I'm like God like give these people a break. Yeah, I kind of I don't feel bad. People who like football I think are just like barbaric. <laughs> They're just like 
I, we've talked about this. Like, I have football fans in my family, and it's just like they get so upset over like a team losing or something. And it's like it's just not that serious. Like, it's not that serious. Like, and people who take it so seriously, I question their like sanity. I'm always just like, mm. so I don't really feel bad for them. Especially the trend going around on TikTok was like, oh, did you know yeah. Taylor Swift? Everyone, no one knew Travis Kelsey, and then like. If it's real, which I'm assuming some of them are, it's like these people like need actual help because they get so upset. They yeah. get so upset. They're like, no, what? No, the Travis Kelsey was yeah, it's like so annoying. I put myself in the other perspective, right? So if I was at a Taylor Swift concert and they kept panning to Travis Kelsey like every five minutes, I'd be pissed. I'd be like, yeah. don't take away from Taylor. And True. if someone asked me, did Travis Kelsey put Taylor on the map, I would like lose my shit and be like, no, of course not. Like, so I don't know. But that's I, not even a question because Taylor Swift is a household name. True. Travis Kelsey's just not. Yeah. Like just to football fans. Yeah. Like, you know. And there's like a whole new level now. And it's, but it's just a lot. Like the whole friend group at the game. And then we're all like. Who uh, was it? Was it Sabrina Carpenter, Ryan Reynolds, Sophie Turner? Hugh Jackman, Blake Lively. Hugh Jackman, random. <laughs> um, The director of Deadpool. Oh my god, so yeah. well, I guess Ryan Reynolds connection. Yeah. I love how Hugh Jackman's like for the girls now. He's just like, yes, we're gonna go yeah, with yeah. the Swifties. I love yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> and all the like the football wives were with Brittany Mahomes, yes. I just learned, was like the OG Kansas City Chiefs wife. Yeah. And then people were kind of hating on her for <laughs> people think she's annoying. I didn't I'm like, I can't I know nothing about her. <laughs> I can't mentally afford to dive into like the football drama. So I it's just no, not I'm just I'm a, I'm because people keep like t- like coming up, ask me what I think, and now I'm just like I'm checked out. Like, I'm wait, not- are they in real life? Yes, like people, at your job, and just like people I know, like people just randomly DM me <laughs> and ask because they know I'm unwell and like that. Taylor is my mother, but <laughs> <sighs> like like a week, a lot can change in a week. Because last week I was just so gung ho, I was excited, I was thrilled, yeah. I was just elated, and then. Now I'm like, okay, we got to reel it in. We got to reel it in. It's too much. It's yeah. too much. Every Sunday. I can't do this every Sunday. I don't is know. Is it if every this, Sunday? I don't know how often football is. I don't know how <laughs> don't often know they either. play. Is she in Kansas City or are they here? They're tr- last. Is she traveling? Because it was in New-, New York. I think it was in New York, New Jersey this past Sunday. Oh, so, so it's definitely staged. There's no way she's like following around. I think that she. I think that she's into him. But yeah, I think she has a movie coming out in two weeks, which is showing during the commercials. Yes. of all the football games. So that's why I was like sus right there. And then her, she's redoing 1989, and that also comes out. And they're using songs from 1989 in the NFL commercials. And he's 87. So, yeah. Well, 19, it's like two years. Two off. years. <laughs> okay. It's, we'll it's roll it's with close. it. We'll throw it in there. Throw yeah. it in there. Close enough. So. I'm checking out of like the whole football thing. I'll clock back in when the movie comes out. We'll be there with our AMC popcorn. <laughs> what is it, October 13th? October 13th. Yes, yeah, because right now they have that little demonic saw man as the popcorn buckets yeah, at AMC. Uh, and it scares me. Have you seen Saw? I cannot see any of you those don't like horror movies. movies. I like some horror movies, again, because I'm nosy and I want to know how they end, but Saw, just because it's like torture and I can't. It's torture, but then I also heard it's like, it's like people who do morally wrong get tortured. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the scale of like morality is in those movies, but I, don't either. I just I can't watch anything that's just like bloody like super super bloody even i'll watch like um michael michael myers the halloween movies yeah those are like camp or like purge because it's like oh not purge that feels too real oh really that scares me like when they say they're gonna have an actual purge in real life i'm like oh my god that's so scary they say that sometimes they'll be like oh on this day is the purge i'm like no thank you yeah i remember in one of the purge movies they had a whole dance summer to party in the usa so it's like a little gay oh Um, really yeah they had girlies (laughs) dancing to party in the usa i'm like work okay i love that yeah there hasn't been a gay killer out there in a movie, right? Yeah, yeah, right. I guess they don't clarify sexual orientation yeah, like Michael we Myers. Shouldn't, we shouldn't, yeah, because yeah. <laughs> they very well could be. Yeah, for sure. But any of like those ones, because I, I want to know how they end. Like when there's a mystery, like I'm involved. But when it's just straight up like torture, I bleh, like I the hostile movies. Even though I like hate them, Hostel Two I love because it's like about pervy men cheating on their wife and trying to go for younger girls, and then they get at the end. Yeah. And it's like it's disgusting. Like I can't watch it. But like when I was younger, I really thought I was like you know like I was trying to be a pick me and be like I love Hostel. <laughs> And then when I actually watched the movies and I'm like, I'm mortified that I said I loved it. I was like, oh my God, that's so embarrassing. But those, yeah, the unnecessary gore. So I wanted to see the Saw because there's like nothing out. And my mom's like leaving town for a week. So I was like, I'm going to go see a movie with her. And there's like nothing out. It's like Saw, Expendables, and like Big Factory Wedding 3 or something. And I was yeah. just like, what's with all these movies? So I'm just going to go see Taylor Swift for the popcorn bucket and because it's the only movie out. You can't use your AMC membership though. I'm <gasps> sorry. Do you 
you have your AMC? Of you course. Do. You do? Okay. Yeah, it's like $20 a month for like all the movies yeah, you want to see. Yeah, it's a great deal. Yeah. Live for it. And I was excited when the tickets for the Taylor Swift came on sale. Are you AMC member? I am, And you yeah. can't use it for Taylor Swift? You can't. <laughs> they, it literally says not applicable. You have to pay $28 <laughs> or something like crazy Did like you that. see Beyonce too is making yes. everyone charge $28? It doesn't it's matter if you're a senior thing. citizen kid. <laughs> Everyone's oh, twenty eight. Everyone. <laughs> yeah, everyone's like, damn. She doesn't care if you're a child or a senior citizen. You're gonna pay the same. <laughs> That's kind of iconic. Yeah. Twenty eight is yeah. expensive. It's really <laughs> expensive. Is it for all? The, is it like IMAX or all of them? I mean, I'm hoping they put it in the. There's like one big one they have, so I'm hoping oh it's for one God, big one. Yeah, that is expensive. Yeah, I was like, wow, they're making so much money. They didn't even. They made so much money on their tours, and now they're making so much money on the movies. Yeah, and the popcorn buckets. Do you think they have money off the popcorn buckets, or is that straight to AMC? I'm sure they must get some because of like licensing or whatever right but yeah. i'm sure most of that goes to like amc how do you even keep track of that when you're taylor swift beyonce like where all your money is being collected from you have like a team of like a hundred people but probably how do you trust that person how do you trust that all that money That's, i'm so yeah, like sure, you would be in every week <laughs> i text everyone daily about money coming in i was talking to someone today about money i was like okay they're like well we have net 15 i'm like okay but that was net 30 and then i was like but last time you were late so i'm t- i'm getting on you now ahead of time because like i'm so about that i couldn't imagine having all this like stuff with you around trying to like collect the money but i guess when you have that much money i feel like you i don't know maybe you don't care you're not like as invested in like the the day-to-day yeah profits that are coming someone's in someone's ripping them off for sure you for sure somewhere like, down the line someone's pocketing a little someone's stealing the popcorn bucket to. reselling <laughs> they're like they're not gonna know i really wonder that and then how do they get like do they get a lump sum are they constantly getting like deposits into their bank account can you imagine like if you're like taylor swift beyonce checking your bank account (laughs) i check my bank account every morning just to make sure it's like all good like just everything's there i'm the opposite i never check that's that's everybody i'm like i don't want to know I don't want to know. That's... I surprise me. When my car gets declined, then I'll check. <laughs> <laughs> then That's I'll be like, the oh. best surprise. <laughs> I've had my car declined for sure because I have like multiple accounts. So sometimes I don't know which one is being taken out of an account. So I definitely had my car declined at like Starbucks for like five dollars. And like there'll be like a fan or something, and I'm like, like, oh, oops, <laughs> relatable. <laughs> I don't know. Like, yeah, that's always fun. No, I just check. I just cut check constantly because you just like never know. You always hear about people like getting their money stolen and stuff. I don't know. She must know a lot about economics. economics. Well, her dad is like a business guy. Her dad is like a banker or something. So oh. I think she like grew up with like around economics. Yeah, right. I'm trying to use that word. Like, I'm like manifesting being smart. I Trish think I'm just going to use yeah, it. I love it. You are smart. You are so smart. I know I'm smart too, but there's just like certain things that you're just like, you know, like, mm-hmm. oh my God, today I just found out from my glam girl, um, and my friend, uh, that cheese is cows. It's, it's, it's cow. It's cow milk. Yes. <laughs> well, you didn't know. Yes. But okay. But okay. Tell me this then, because I was like, okay, maybe I heard it's dairy and maybe from a cow. How come it's not liquid? Because they, it, like, they mix it to make it a uh, solid or whatever. <laughs> I, I swear to God. True. I swear they to God. They mix it. it like in you what? stir it enough. <laughs> if you stir it hard enough, it becomes cheese. So they just take milk and just start stirring it. Yeah. So how do you get cheddar, gouda? Different breeds of cows. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> is it? Do you no. know? What is the difference? I don't know. Oh, so you don't know. No. Interesting. So you just do it in a big batter. Like I don't think it's like <laughs> someone's there stirring it by hand. It's but a machine. Or maybe that's butter that's stirred. Wow. Oh, so what's the difference between that's butter not- and you got me there exactly <laughs> you know it's dairy you know it's from a cow but it's like why is it not liquid that's actually tea when you think when it's tea i never stopped to think about it we need oh to my know God. i know i know we have to have a dairy farmer on the I, podcast i would love it actually that would be everything dairy farmers hit us up contact oscar <laughs> did you have insight onto that moses i saw you grab the microphone <laughs> oh he was ready i don't know I, I thought maybe i'll help with the economic the finance <laughs> oh. you don't know about the cheese and the yeah they do shake like it's a it's they shake it until it becomes solid. And then I think the process is just different processes give you a different type of cheese, not the different cows. It's it the all process. comes with the same cow. Yeah, milk mm-hmm. is milk. That is weird, though, because I don't like, you don't like certain cheeses. You like Swiss, but you don't like right. Gouda, you know? Yeah, like What's I don't like you... blue cheese. Like There's another one of my grilled cheese you don't like. No, I don't. I, I like most cheese. No, there's one like, cheese you don't eat. I don't like the sharp <laughs> ones, all the sharp ones, okay, like okay. blue cheese. I love cheese. Like I've been getting breakouts because I've been eating, we've been eating Domino's again, and I've been getting breakouts. Sounds good. Oh, man, we had, we had a, Three times in like the past three weeks. Although I have to say, Domino's is getting really bold with the prices lately. They've been pretty expensive. It used to be like five dollars for bucks. Domino's pizza. Yeah, yeah. and well, then you, everything's going up. And then you order delivery; it's like forty bucks. It's 
it's so crazy, actually. I know post means all that stuff like that. I'm just so over because it's so expensive. Maybe adding all these fees. Ours is like literally a hundred dollars to get food to our house for two people, two meals. Like that's it. Like it's crazy. Joe Biden, get on. Joe Biden. Postmates. No, we can't mention him. Last time you mentioned Joe Biden, ever, it, we divide our audience. That's true. And we are not. <laughs> Joe not Biden or anyone in office, no matter which <laughs> party you are in, get on Postmates. Get on post- <laughs> Whatever party does it has my vote. Yeah, Period. yeah, I agree. That would be such a good stance. Just like it's for, that's a stance for the people. Yeah, Postmates <laughs> and Ticketmaster because those fees are also ridiculous. Ticketmaster is crazy. Mm-hmm. What's the next concert you're going to? Mm, I was supposed to see Olivia Rodrigo on Wednesday. No, tomorrow. Where's she at? She's at the Grammy Museum downtown. That's crazy, though. If I got invited to, like, a small, like, viewing party with my camera from Emmy, I'd be there hell or high water. Really? Yeah. On, even if it's, like, on a Tuesday. Yes. And, like, you're sleeping. Oh, and wow, if it's okay. small, because the forum's so huge. Like, that That's sounds true. overwhelming but to me. But it's also going to be, like, four songs. Like, it's going to be short and small. I don't know. Oh, man. That, I'm, I'm surprised. What else are you going to do tomorrow? We're, like, sleep. edit this and sleep. <laughs> I know. Oh my God. It's crazy. Your editing schedule right now. It's insane. But so worth it. So uh, what time, what time it. did you woke up this morning? This morning? Yeah. Today I woke up at four. Oh my God. Yeah. We're Oscar, here. you need to get sleep. I'm worried about you because you do stay up all night editing for everybody <laughs> and everything. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, we need to get a schedule. That's why I was like so concerned. We were texting so much and I was like, so I was actually getting so much anxiety over because I'm like, you need to sleep. Like, I know, it's not you were good. so sweet about it. Yeah. I was like so worried for you. I was like, oh my God, you need to like get rest. I like, if I don't get like nine hours of sleep, then it's like, I'm. So we're still figuring it out and we're getting there, it's, I think. No, it's so good. Everything's doing so well. And it's like, you're, so, you're just like, because of you, like, you're editing, you're T- titles your thumbnails like it is so good no it's all it's i would say it's like 80 percent you guys no yeah. i think it's 80 percent you i was no, doing this no in my rolls royce and no one cared <laughs> <laughs> i was eating my little starbucks muffin talking about hot topics and no one cared but it's you with the set and the glam like it's all the experience <laughs> it is funny how podcasts are like that where it's like if you have like a cool setup like more people are watching it's very that's why i like social media i just love to see the fluctuation of it all you know what like this is the podcast era where everyone has a podcast but like it is interesting that people like blow up just because like something looks cool like i always watch podcasts like watch like if they have a cool aesthetic yeah. and not very many people do have a cool aesthetic. not to say ours is the coolest i mean i do think ours is the coolest but there are some that like really like look like professional you know like really mm. put a lot of like whitney cummings has lights that like blows her out so much she's like shining bright i was like we need to get more lights in here <laughs> i just jumped on spotify and we're number 24 now on what comedy comedy i heard wow. overall we were like 75 someone tweeted me do you know what the overall oh, it must be or maybe it dropped and also to let everyone know we figure out the issue and now we can stream it easily on spotify and oh yeah a lot of people are like yeah, oh we was. can't listen to it on spotify yeah, so we checked and they fixed it we figured but it out 24 in comedy wow What's, who's number one? Who's number one? Number one we gotta get is them. the most funniest Joe Rogan. What? He's comedy. Really? Comedy. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, theoretically, the brand. He's a comedian. I guess what other category? What other categories are there even? Yeah, I don't know. Well, like, like when social? you go to the page, there's really only four: top podcast, top episodes, top comedy, and top society, society and culture. So Huge right there, all that. What's top podcast? What's number one? New Heights with Jason and Travis. I feel like this is sports, all sports oh, entertainment. Cause... Travis Kelsey's podcast. Oh, oh my god, Taylor! Oh my god, isn't that crazy? That is. That's what we need. That's we not need... organic. That's, that's not, not organic. No, we need. A... God, we really need. A... Maybe we need Travis Kelsey. We need something on here to <laughs> spike our podcast. We need one person. I'm still holding on to the weekend. I don't think he does interviews, no. so I think he's going to do ours. And you're right. We are 75 in 75 worldwide. overall. That's amazing. In two oh months to be in the. Congrats, everybody. No, it like overwhelms me so much. I get so excited. Like, that's why I got so excited. I wanted to do like three a week, four a week. I'm like, can you just like quit your job and do this four <laughs> times a week? Because I love it so much, but I really can't do it without you. Like, I would do this every day, but you're busy. So I was like, God, I cannot do it without you. And I mean that so sincerely. Like, I cannot replace you. That's why we try to be accommodating. Like, what can we do to make sure you're good? <laughs> you know, it's it's actually so crazy. Unless someone wants to buy our show for like $70 million or something, and then we can. Yeah, and then we're out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is crazy. Wait, no, we're in. No, I mean, I, well, I'm out. And then here. Yeah. No, you're in. <laughs> no, out of everything else. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> that's really, I'm out. It's like, no, that's when we're going I in. I got you out. <laughs> I mean, if I win the billion, I did think about this. If I win the billion dollar lottery, like I would, then I would just give you like a severance for like $10 million. <laughs> And then you could just do whatever. I mean, you could still work your job, I guess. I don't know. I guess if I want a billion, I'd give you more than 10 million. I'd give you. Okay. I'm not trying to be like a hater on this girl, but did you see the Bobby Altoff offset? Yes. And he was like really like annoyed in the fact that it wasn't like, he wasn't like playing along with her character annoyed. Do you know what I mean? He's kind of like, I don't know that. Okay. And a lot of people on like X and stuff like that are kind of like, why? I don't know. They're just like not getting her humor. Cause she, she did one where she was like at the strip club and she's just like standing Mm -hmm. there and I don't know. 
know. It's just like her whole shtick and especially the offset one is just weird because she's just very like shuts down everything. And I'm like, okay, so that, there's no, who's the other person they compared to? Not Zach Galifianakis. There was one other person. Oh, um, Nathan Fielder. That's so different. He like keeps the bit going. She like stops it. And it's like, it drives me nuts. I don't know why it drives me nuts because I'm like, okay, you get to interview these really big people and like you can't evolve your character. Like be dry, be whatever, but there's no like evolution of it. I'm a little bit of a hater. Okay, I'm I'm a, that's why I get conflicted because it's like, I, I don't want to be a hater, but it's, I, I it's like not, I don't personally get it. Like I, whenever I watch one of Bobby's interviews and I always watch them when people like repost them on Twitter slash X and I'm like not into it usually like the guest is the one that kind of carries the the interview and like if it's entertaining it's because the guest is like doing jokes or whatever yes. you know and why is it males because she's always like uncomfortable with like the it's always male guests and it's always her being uncomfortable with like male hip-hop stars and i don't know it just like puts a weird rhetoric out there it's like why don't you have females doing this character with you because it just makes her seem like she's like mm, you're making me uncomfortable like don't do that and it's kind of like okay they're not they're not doing it you're doing it and it's like making them look some type of way and it's a certain type of person each time and i'm just like do it with a female she took down her interviews with colleen and also there was another tiktoker she did one with early on and it was two females and she took those down I was like this is kind of weird like you're only acting uncomfortable with like male hip-hop stars like I don't know it's kind of I don't know I it, and the fact that she keeps doing them and I think I think it's not fair I saw is it Francesca Lee Frances she's a she's a she's on X she is a journalist as well and she was talking about like you know this girl oh, who has yeah. no journalist did you see this yeah like she's like she goes she was a journalist and she was saying you know the number one rule is like if you're gonna do interviews and stuff like that to do like an improv class because you know you should do the yes and so she was kind of talking about it and had a really good insight to it and how it's kind of like this girl who really just got this stuff handed to her you know it's not like she's a journalist she hasn't been doing this a while you know making this sort of like comedy that's not comedy I don't know it was a really interesting video I wish I could find it because it was really like insightful and I thought it had some good stuff because at the end of the day people work really hard to do interviews and then it's like yeah anyone can do it because you have a podcast but her specific like character I think it's just like hurting the guest and hurting the way I don't know uh, right I don't know something about it and I, I really try not to hate because we love women on this show we're trying not to hate I'm pro Rachel Ziegler now like can't wait for <laughs> Snow White like I really do <laughs> <laughs> Poor thing can't catch a break. There's just so much about it. But I really, like, I really, like, that's why I love this podcast, because especially with you, because you're so pro-girl, and, like, I'm pro-girl, but I've got to be more, is, like, okay, let me reflect. Let me not be so hard on Rachel Zegler, who's, like, 21, like, new to this. But I feel like with Bobby, I'm just, like, I hate to see it over and over, and then there's more and more people expressing their, like, distaste for it, and I kind of, like, have to agree. Like, it's just, like, a little, like, distasteful and not, like, funny. I think Drake was funny, because Drake is funny, and he's kind of, like, in on it, and he's whatever, but it's, like... I don't know, like with Offset, it's like not to say they don't have good sense of humor is obviously they do. He's there on the interview, but just the way she shuts it down and the way she acts uncomfortable at like the strip club, which is like, why are you there? Or even at the Drake concert. It's like, I get it. It's your character, but also like insulting. After the Drake um, interview, a lot of people compared her to Amelia Dim Moldenberg. Um, she kind of does some, a little, something a little bit similar. She does like the chicken shop date. I don't know what this is. I keep seeing chicken shop. She's... Is it Barstool? No, she's like she's from the UK. She like eats chicken tenders, different mm. chicken tenders with like celebrities and interviews them. And it's kind of like awkward comedy, but it's not as dry. And she has like levels, and she's also like asking them questions. And like there are a lot of silly questions, right? But it kind of like goes places. And she now she does like every red carpet. She's doing all the fashion week wow. interviews. And she's oh, I think I saw her. She was interviewing like Andrew girl. Garfield or yeah. something. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Uh, yeah, I and, love her. But that's the difference. Is like, yeah, you're like asking questions. Like, to just she goes nowhere. She'll just say no, no. Like she gets, she says she doesn't know their songs. What's that? What's and it's just like, it just it just frustrates me so much because it's like you know when you are given those opportunities. One, I mean, obviously there's like bitterness with anyone who doesn't get those opportunities. But two, it's like. Oh, there's just like no, there's nothing going with this. And it's just, it's just frustrating to watch. I don't know. I don't know. It just bothers me lately. I don't know what it is. I was like, oh, she has like offset. She could ask him about like his McDonald's meal. Like there's so many questions to ask him <laughs> yeah. about, you know? And it's like, I don't know. I guess that's like not her sense of humor, but I just think that needs to be canceled. <laughs> oh, there has to be like an evolution at some point. And I'm yeah. excited to see what that becomes. And she has a, such a huge team behind her now that like. They should th shift it. She'll have people helping her pivot. So I, I'm interested to see how they like rebrand her. It's coming sooner than later because. For sure. Yeah. Because the tides are turning and yeah. people. I think when you see like people being upset by it, like actually being like offended by it and something, then it's like, okay. And she's not an offense. That's not her character as being offensive. Her mm -hmm. character is being like awkward. Yeah. And so. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, because she's being inadvertently offensive, which is, like, weird. Did you see the Super Bowl halftime show? What? Last night. Or when did I watch it? Yesterday. Saturday, what? Sunday? I don't know. Sunday night. What Super Bowl halftime the show? Weekend. I mean, a while ago. The weekend. <laughs> 
<laughs> did you see it? <laughs> Sorry, it was in my head because of Drake, and then I think of the weekend and. <laughs> How did you I watch saw it? it in 2021 when it happened. Is yeah. that what it was? <laughs> when did you think it was? 2021? We were in this house. Oh, my God. We didn't watch the Super Bowl, but it's so good. Oh, my God. I like chills. I watch it all the time. I get, like, chills. I don't know what it is about the weekend, but I just get, like, chills all over. I'm just like, oh, my God, it's so good. When he did that, I can't feel my face with you and, like, all those lights with all those people in the mask. And I learned the words. It's like, because I know she'll be the death of me. At least we'll both feel numb. And I know you'll get the best of me. The worst is yet to come. And this I know. And this I know. That's like, I learned Slay. all those this weekend. Okay. I didn't know any words before that because I can't feel my face with you. Um, I just love him. <laughs> Period. <laughs> it's such a good show, right? Was it a good halftime show or what? I don't really remember. I just remember the mask. Like, I don't remember that much from it. Well, I, all, it was like a fun house. He was like, yes. all these lights. And... Was there mirrors? Yeah. Yes, okay. I do remember that. That was yeah. everything. Oh, my God. And he had like this whole chorus behind him. He just gives me like Michael Jackson Prince vibes. I don't know. I think you have to watch The Idol and then you'll get into it. That Maybe that's like the missing Yeah, the missing that's the piece. missing piece. We're going to yeah. rewatch it again because I'm just like loving it. Oh, man. I'm so sad you don't watch that or Elvis. That makes me so sad. I, probably, I will watch. I wouldn't watch Elvis, but I would watch The Idol at some point. You have to. It's mm-hmm. so good. Mm-hmm. Kim Kardashian's copying me. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see her post the pictures at Benny Hanna? Oh. With her kids yeah. wearing chef's hat. Three days after I posted a picture of my child wearing Benny Hanna chef's hat. I've never seen anyone. First of all, I didn't even know those were chef's hats. When they give you a kid's menu, I had no idea they were chef's hat. I see them all the time. Never seen anyone post about it on Instagram. Not even Benny Hanna's account. So I was like, oh my God, it's a chef's hat. How cute. I was like, let's take a picture of us. We're going to post it. Three days later, her kids are wearing Benny Hanna chef's hats. And I was like... This is us. I think she's really happy. That's the second time I, I think she copied. Was the first one was a Barbie. The bar- bar- we're exhibit. in Mountain Rouge World. Everyone's just looking at it. She said, we're in North World. Everyone's just looking at it a day later. Mm-hmm. And then this Bunny Hunter thing happened three days. Definitely. Her kids are on TikTok, so they've seen you on TikTok. <laughs> so they follow you. <laughs> And they, pro- I think the kids were like, we want to go there. We want to do what they should show that. Okay. Moses is my little Delulu. You're Delulu with me. That's what I love it. No, that's the logical explanation. Okay. So you think that. I love it. You support me 100%. He thinks we could have a TV show. He thinks we're going to get bought out $100 million. Yeah, but I also think, you know, other celebrities, who would they watch on TikTok and Instagram? Like, I think Britney does follow you on Instagram <laughs> so with too. a fake account. Okay, you yes. Know? With and a fake account. I think she follows me with a real one. I just can't see because I have so Oh, you can see. Okay. So, <laughs> I, didn't know, I didn't know. Oh, well, I don't think like, she physically hide. pushed the follow button, but I feel like she mm. sees. So even more, she goes to the search. She was at name. Joey's three hours after yeah. I posted. We were at Joey's. That's weird. That's weird because I've never seen her at Joey's. Just putting it out there. We went because of the Kardashians. <laughs> it was so weird. That was weird. It was, yeah. Okay. Anyways, but I saw the Bunny Hana thing, and I was just like. Okay, and the reason I didn't think she was there is because you have to sit with people. You've been Bunny Hana? Yeah. You have to sit with people at your table. And we like to go at 11 a.m., like right when they open, because you'll get like a table by yourself most of the time. Although last time people came at 11, 15, their reservation, and they sat them with us after we ordered, and we had to wait another 40 minutes. It was a whole thing. But there was people around in the back, and there has to be people at their table. There's no way Kim Kardashian is sitting with people at her Bunny Hana table. Yeah. But so, do you think they would give her or her family, if she's not there, their own table? They didn't look like it because the kids were at the end of the table and there was like people behind, like the kids behind them. So mm-hmm. if there was a table, they'd probably put them in a private table in the back or yeah, something. Yeah, that's true. So I have a feeling, I don't know, maybe the kids don't get the VIP treatment that they would. I'm sure they would if they went in. I'm sure they'd get like a, if they have a private table, but yeah. we never get a private table. I, <laughs> I'm like trying to rein myself in because <laughs> there's so many tangents from Benny Hanna I want to go off of. Benny Hanna? <laughs> What's a Benny Hanna tangent? It reminded me of. Britney with like the knives and everyone thought ah! she was like the Benny Hanna memes from Britney. I know that was kind of everything. And also like stop. Oh my god, why are people calling Britney like concerned? First of all, she's like dancing with knives. Like I don't think that's like it's not like she's like wielding them around like a crazy person being like, look at what I'm gonna do. Like she's like <laughs> dancing with them. Like and then she said they were fake, which did we confirm? The prop house that she <laughs> rented them from confirmed that they were fake and that they had like a huge spike in rentals from their pop house. Their <laughs> oh, prop it was house. about to close down or something, yeah. and they said Britney saved it, which is like, why were you renting fake knives? Love that though. <laughs> about that she gets stuff for Halloween and that's what the knives are oh, for. Oh, I didn't see that. Did you see that? No, but oh. yeah, yeah that makes the most oh. sense. Yeah. Okay, love that. What is Britney doing for Halloween? She probably <laughs> probably has her own pink spooky, she probably, <laughs> she's gonna see your pink spooky set and watch. Oh, I'll be done. If someone posts a pink skeleton or something, I'll be, I'll be done. And Kim too, I'm just like, oh. Yeah, the Benny Hanna knife was everything, like the the little like meme. Knife I was like, dance? oh God, if yeah. I saw Britney at Benny Hanna, I would just about. That'd be iconic, yeah. Yeah, gosh, that'd be amazing. Yeah, because there are so many ways to go now. Because I also want to talk about Chili's Barb Days. But we also have Courtney, Courtney and Kim. I know. Which one do we go to for? Well, we'll just go- shout out Chili's for Barb's Day. They're doing a second Barb's Day, mm-hmm. October 17th. The Bar- Pink Friday 2 comes out November, right? November? Yeah. Gotta get Nikki on before then. 
which I also, I think it's going to happen too. I mean, the delusion <laughs> might be contagious because I don't know. Since I've started coming in here, I just believe anything can but happen. But like this is where you should promote Pink Friday. <laughs> yeah, this I, is you a know? spot. And I think at this point we have just, we have chosen our line. Our, our, there's a, like a line and there's two sides. Yeah. I think we've chosen the, the barbs. barbs. Yeah. And it's, it's, so that's just what it is. I mean, Ice Spice, Ice Spice with Taylor Swift. Oh my God, there's Ice Spice news too. Ice Spice with Taylor Swift. Ice Spice with Nikki. Mm-hmm. She kind of was my factor. Although I've always loved Nikki. Yeah. Actually, I mean, recently did an interview too, and they asked me about Nikki Minaj. They compared me to her. They're like, oh, when we think of Pink, we think of you and Miss Minaj. And I was like, oh my God, thank you. It's very exact. Yeah. It was great. I did not write this interview, and I did not make it up. <laughs> <laughs> it really was just there. And I was like, God, Nikki Minaj is. So I wonder if she'll be at Chili's. What is Barb's Day? <laughs> they have the Barbarita. The, the Barbarita, Barbarita Chili's. But is yeah. it confirmed that that's coming back? I'm pretty sure. Cause I, and I'm sad because I missed it last year. Because um, I was in Hawaii last year. And I missed it because it was that week. Oh. And so I'm very excited because this has this time I'm not, I have to be there. I have yeah. To get it. Chili's is everything. I love Chili's so much. We've been going pretty much every twice, well, twice a week now. I don't know what it is. <laughs> so I've also loved Chili's. But I've had to go on the download because no... People like kind of clown on chilies, yes. but they have like two for ten or something crazy, crazy, crazy yeah. prices, so cheap. Yeah. so cheap, so delicious. I love chilies, so good. But then, all, then you posted about it. Then I see, first of all, everyone tweeting you doing the same, yes. recreating the chilies chip. photos. Mm, yeah, so good, the tostita chips. But not even people like in relation to you being there, like people um on Instagram, just random people I know who are just like normal, whatever, posting chilies, like chilies is lit, chilies yeah. is where it's at. I've. Se- what is going on? I thought I there know. was like a weird it rebranding. It is making a comeback because like we went to Chili's like two years ago, like horrible. Like, oh my God. I used to love it as a kid. Like first of all, Chili's in Rockford, Illinois was like our spot. That was our fancy night. Like if we went to birthdays, whatever, we'd always go to Chili's. Like love Chili's. And then we hadn't gone so long. We went to Encino like two years ago. Like, oh my God. Actually, like, like it was disgusting. I was like, what the heck? And then we just saw it all over TikTok. Like people just talking about Chili's again. Like, oh, they have new, like not new menu, but like new recipes or something. So we went. And it's so good. We got the chicken crispers one day. We got the honey chipotle crispers. I always get the Cajun chicken pasta. He gets the baby back ribs. Um, next time we go, I think I'm going to get the triple dipper. Then there's the fajitas, which look really, really good. And then someone told me the nachos are bomb. We always get the mullen chocolate the cake to finish. The nachos are good. Mm, I'm just like so, it's so good. I'm And I'm supposed to have like great margaritas. I don't drink, but like uh, the margaritas and stuff I heard. I, I would get a barberita though. Me too. I don't drink, but I would get a barberita. Mm. You have Is it to. Pink? I think it's pink. Oh, I love it. But like does Nicki Minaj endorse it or they're just like, Stealing it. No. <laughs> Stealing the thunder. I think she has to be involved somehow. Because she's also been tweeting Barb's in, Barb's in New York. What do you want for dinner? Like, yeah, I'll what buy is that? Dinner. Was she, I, did she just pay for people to go to dinner? Uh, yeah, I guess Not so. That. I am like an... Uh, my boyfriend is very like a huge Barb since he was like little. I remember our biggest fight um, was because <laughs> he thought I was making fun of Nikki. Um, and I wasn't. I just genuinely was asking him like a genuine question about the new when she was going to release a new album. And he got in the shower, blasted "Stupid Ho" by Nikki and, and texted me, "This one's dedicated to you." Oh my god, I kind of love that though. That, That's cute. It was like I wouldn't our, even be mad. Was, I, was I would just, think it's cute. I was just like dumbfounded. I'm like, this is our biggest fight right now. You were stupid <laughs> ho. You were stupid ho. You were stupid ho. You were you were stupid ho. I just love her. I love her so much. I love her energy. She is everything and more. Mm. Oh, she's so great. Um, I love her. I love Ice Spice. Did you see Ice Spice was talking about she? Okay, wait. First of all. Who's Matt Healy? That was Taylor's ex-boyfriend, the <gasps> British guy. Oh, no. That really? Was, yes, that Ew, British all, guy. Ick. Like, his face is an ick to me. Yeah. And the way, oh, my God. Like, I was shook at the way he was talking about Ice Spice. Did you see this? Yeah. Like, when he called her, like, a chubby, like, Asian or yeah, something. That's I was when, like. When Taylor was dating him, people were really upset at her for dating him when he was so problematic. Is and, he a comedian? No, he's a singer. He's, like, an alternative band called the 1975. Oh, and she was, like, a fan, right? Ice Spice was a fan of 1975? I don't know if she, I know Taylor was back in the day. I don't know if Ice Spice was. But. I want to say she was. And then, because I read the whole article. Okay, maybe I'm missing, maybe I'm missing that's interesting because I like I thought I heard that and then he like said that and I was like in what context like why would he like and I read about it I was like that's so weird and then he didn't apologize he was just like I just like feel bad that she thinks like I'm an asshole but he like wasn't sorry for like what he said okay first of all Ice Ice is like the opposite of chubby she's so little and tiny and petite Mm -hmm. like what is wrong with people and the audacity this is why the audacity of men the audacity of men like I'm sorry I really don't judge people's looks but this is like one of the ugliest men I've ever seen in my entire life (laughs) calling someone chubby I'm like fix your face before you call anyone chubby (laughs) like what the heck just because you'll never get someone like young and beautiful and popular and rich like her like it was so bizarre and she said they're cool like Ice Ice she seems like a sweetheart she's like we're cool we talked whatever but I'm just like 
ew, like what an ick. Like everything about him is ick. And I'm just like, I didn't know. The name sounded familiar. I didn't know it was Taylor Swift's ex. Yeah. Of of only a few <sighs> dark, sad, turbulent weeks. But Oh, it was only a few weeks? It was only, yeah. It was a trying time in my life, but persevered. Yeah. Oh, he's yeah. so ugly. He's so ugly. And that makes him uglier. And I'm just like, oh, and then when he didn't, he didn't apologize, I was just like, I don't like it. Huh. I get so torn because, like, I do like his music, but he says so much, like, a lot of offensive stuff. So it makes it hard to like his music. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, because he also, like you said, like, he's saying things recently. Like, the Ice Spice thing was yeah. recent. Recent. Yeah. So like, it's what's not wrong like, with you? it's not like a reformed, like, you know, ignorant person. He yeah. says things that are just, like, really inappropriate and offensive. So it's hard to, like, to stand by that, like, his music. But, the root of all evil for men is a podcast. He was on a podcast saying all this oh stuff. Oh my god! Don't ever let a man on a podcast. <laughs> Never. Let- <laughs> why do they say? Why do they say such dumb things? Like why? I don't know. I don't get it. Like it's weird. Do they not think that it's dumb? Do they not know that it's dumb? Do they think they're funny? Like I think he thinks he's really funny. Which no, no, so bad. It was so bad, and I was just like, "This is like the biggest ick ever." I can't say he's British. Mm-hmm. He's British. I mean, that's why I was celebrating Travis Kelsey last week because I was like, "Thank God she's away from Maddie Healy, and she's got <laughs> someone who's like just this big muscular man <laughs> back to, yeah. who actually like sees the sunlight." Like I was yeah. just very excited. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man, that made me so upset. I was just so annoyed. Mm-hmm. I was like, "I'm not my little Ice Spice. I just love her so much." Me too. Did you see? She almost so got cute. burned by the pyro. When she was performing? Yes. Where was that? That was, I don't, was that an award show? No, that was like a concert. She was doing a performance oh, at a concert or something. Oh, yeah. yeah. She's just like, doesn't care, doesn't bat an eye. She's just going with well, it. I know. I was kind of, <laughs> at first I thought maybe it's just the, I thought it was maybe the angle of the video that looked like the pyro was closer to her than it was. But then I saw, she posted on her Instagram a video yeah. from the side and it was like, how does she not like get burned? I know. I don't know. She Maybe she's so, she, she's so small and tiny and petite. <laughs> yeah, she, she literally is. It. Yeah. I mean, pyro scares me. Like fire, all that stuff scares me. I don't mm-hmm. like any of that. Even at shows, like I'm just like, ooh, it's like, even if at Benihana. you feel it. <laughs> yeah. When that oil comes out with the onion, I'm just like, Ew. let's go back. Cause you just never know. Like fire in general is just wild, you know, <laughs> just, I never, I never trust it. Have you tried her? Drink yet? No. The ice spice the chino. No. Pizza. Have you tried it? No. Is it still out? I, I think it's it. still out. I wanted to wait for the podcast. Like I wanted to wait till our ice spice day. Yeah. But I'm like, is it still gonna be out then? Is it still gonna be relevant? Like I don't know. When is doing anything relevant like really stop? <laughs> That's <you>? true. <laughs> I feel like t- I know I have some outfits coming up. So, co- so sometimes when you do cosplays, they take a while to make the outfits. So I have like a cosplay coming up in November. That's like from August. But whatever, we'll just roll with it. It doesn't really matter. I'm trying to get on the Doja Cat cosplay right now. She's doing this like bang moment with like the skinny eyebrows. Oh yes. Um, um, but it's just taking a minute to get all those outfits around to. She just did a song about Gloria Hills, which is right down the street. I, was I like, know. Okay. I told you she's in. The, she's I around know. the neighborhood. I mm-hmm. really, I really like her. Even though she might be a little demon, I kind of like her. Me too. I think she's I a like big demon, show. so I think she's just demon coded. Yeah, I think she is. She's kind of like a little, a little bit of a troll, which I, I think she's like, she likes messing with people. Yeah. Which sometimes is annoying, but for the most part, I think it's like. I, I can be I can stand by her yeah I feel like her m- merch is like the ultimate troll did you see her merch yeah I was like okay girl just making the ugliest merch <laughs> possible be like buy this <laughs> like no effort made in like Microsoft love paint love it give yeah. us nothing <laughs> <laughs> I love it I think she's I just think she's the cutest I don't know me too I know her vibes. a lot of people turned on her but I don't know I still think I still of like, the demons and just like her attitude and stuff like she can be a little she's another one where it can be like a little cringe if she takes it too far but for the most part I don't know when the way that she acts on instagram and social media and stuff can be like a little off-putting but everything i've seen of her like in interviews and stuff she's very like intelligent and like very nice yeah i've never seen her be like rude to an interviewer or anything like she seems very sweet yeah i absolutely love that i saw someone the other day be like so nice to a fan oh travis barker he's like at halloween ho- halloween horror nights and someone like you know people are like had their phone in the face like asking him to say hi to people and he's like so nice he like stops for pictures says hi to people in video and stuff like that i'm like god he's really nice that's sweet much Where's- nicer than like because here's the thing when you're at Universal Horror Nights or any of those places and you're with your family like you don't want to like hold up the whole group because like once you do it for one person you do it for everyone mm-hmm. so in those situations I just like keep walking I'm just like hi but he like stopped took a photo did a video I was just like dang I don't know that's like really nice I guess it's just who you're with but do you do Horror Nights? oh I definitely don't do Horror Nights but I mean like, <laughs> if it has to be like Disneyland or Universal or something like that no definitely no Horror Nights it's do you? Yeah, I love it. I even like 
scary. I don't. That's why I don't know. I like when they come after me. I think it's like silly. There's like an unserious factor to oh, horror nights. I get scared. I think that's what it is. The unserious. Oh my god. What is the theme this year? There's always like themes. There's right? like the last. I know there's like a Last of Us one with like oh. maybe Pedro Pascal would be in a maze. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't like Last of Us. I fell asleep. I really tried to watch it to the fourth episode to that guy I like from all those shows I was oh, talking about, yeah. but um, I couldn't. What Murray something Murray. Bartlett, something. Bartlett. Yeah. I love him. I wish shows would come back. Is the actor strike over? They're negotiating this week, so definitely be over this month. Yeah? But, yeah. That's where we're going to get able because he officially joined the Academy. For the Oscars. Taylor Swift just joined it too. Yeah. What is it called? The Academy. That's it? I think, well, I think the official name is like Motion Science. Picture like Academy. Sciences, something. Yeah. Abel just joined that. So I feel like because of the actor strike, he can't talk about the idol. So maybe but after it's Once over. he gets the green light. There is somebody from the idol that DM'd me back and was like, oh, I can after the actor strike. So Troy Sivan. Huh? Troy Sivan. <laughs> oh my God. That would be iconic. I mean, this guy's iconic too, but that'd be iconic. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the other one that I like from there? There was a random guy, um, Hank Azaria was also on it. He did not DM me, but I loved him too. <laughs> he played Chaim. He was a Hebrew, like talent manager. I was like, love that. And they spoke Hebrew on the show. I was like, so random. <laughs> so that's why I looked up. I'm like, is Abel Jewish? But he's not. Maybe. Oh, I think the director or something. I don't know. Euphoria is an Israeli show. I mean, not to get whatever, but it's an Israeli show. It is? Yes. Yeah. Oh, the original, like. The original, original? Euphoria was yeah. Israeli. They, like, bought the concept for it. It's, like, so hardcore, too, like, that version. I was like, oh, my God. Oh. So, anyways. Kim and Courtney, did we talk about that? That's, like, that was all over my ex. Yeah, same. But I do want to say, like, for Dummy. the horror night stuff, I, maybe not season one, maybe season two. Because I loved, and like, on the Ellen show, when, like, they would send that one guy to, like, do horror nights with, like, celebrities like Demi <gasps> Lovato or whatever. Oh, my God, why did I just have a flashback that that was you? Did you ever do Me? that stuff for Ellen? No. Oh, my God. I did it with, like, Logan Paul once. Though. No. And, like, yeah, with Logan Paul. For Entertainment Tonight or for what? For, it was when I was at Access Hollywood. Wait, what did you do? You, like, went with them there? Yeah, and we did, like, a, we recorded them going through a maze. It was Logan Paul. <sighs> Who else did we do it with? Olivia Holt. And was how was Logan? Was he, was he didn't get paid for it? No, it was just, like, Oh, I'm yeah, surprised. Like, a, a promotional thing. Did you love it? Yeah, it was fun. We've done it with a few. I forget who else we did it with. We did it like three years, and I thought it was like again, it's just like very unserious. But if we have a crew, I, then I feel like you would, you could really get into it. No, I don't think you could even pay me a million dollars to do it. I knew you wouldn't. My boyfriend Mm-mm. really told me to pitch it to you, but I knew you wouldn't. I'm Never. like, she'll have too much anxiety. What? Do you have the ability to get us? It's pretty easy. Yeah. Oh, really? To get yeah. a maze with the crew? Mm-hmm. There was a maze that looked. Cute. Was there a Chucky maze? There was some kind of maze that looked cute this year. There was something that looked kind of cute. Not that I would do it, but I was like, well, <laughs> it looked unserious to say the least. It looked kind of cute or something. Yeah, no. I don't think I could do it. Shoe cam. These kind of fit. These are a size seven. They barely fit. Shoe cam. <laughs> I don't know what you would call these. Ruby slippers, but pink. They are my Galinda slippers. They're Jimmy Choo. They're actually pretty comfortable. I have these in red, pink, and white. And they're actually pretty comfortable. And they're size 7. And they don't actually hurt my feet too much. So maybe my feet are shrinking back. I saw, I saw all my size 7 shoes only to have them fit again. Oh, do you think they pay? Okay, you know when the Kardashians will mention like Yellowstone? Do you think they pay them? Or when they mention The Bachelor? Do you think that's like a paid promo? I think they do paid versions of it. But I think some of it is also just like uh – what they talk about. Because you remember that whole skit like last season when she's like, oh my God, you guys, they asked me to be on The Bachelor. Just kidding. Yeah. And they that, did like this whole five minute skit about it. That I think was like promo. promo. And then in this last episode this week was like, oh, Corey was asked to be in Yellowstone, but I wouldn't let him because like, um, I, I like Chris was like, I didn't want him to do it because he had to do a love scene or something. And they're like, oh my God, you could have been on Yellowstone. Like they talked about Yellowstone for like three minutes in Cabo. And I was like, this is a weird part to leave in a 23 minute like episode. But they also have like nothing else really going on. Okay, is that the first episode of the new season? That was the first episode. So there's only one episode out right now? Mm-hmm. What'd you think of it? Um, I didn't even, I, this is another one I watched via clips because. <gasps> you don't watch the full thing? I thought you were a Kardashian I watched, stan. Last season I watched every episode uh, for work and it was like hard because it was so boring. No way. Yeah. I actually like love the Kardashians Hulu show. I just think it's so beautiful, like aesthetic. I just like love it. It's like, like 90% B-roll shots. <laughs> So I love I think that's why you it. Love like, it. it's yeah. so beautiful. <laughs> They'll talk for, sit there and talk for five <sighs> minutes eating a salad. And it's like LA, nightlife, freeways, yes. like houses in Calabasas. And oh, then- <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Their furniture, everything, the food, like it just looks so good. And also Kendall kind of killed it at the L'Oreal Paris show. Did you see it? She got no, she was like gorge, actually. You didn't think so? Her silver, she had the fantasy mermaid dress and she was this, and everyone was dancing around her. I was like, oh my gosh, she kind of looks like a superstar, right? Love now. the gowns. Beautiful gowns. You didn't think she was good? 
Oh man, you are a hater. You are a hater. Look at you, not pro all women. <laughs> what? What? Is, okay. Are you talking about <laughs> how she looked? Or are you talking about her walk? All of it. The, she kind of had a. She had a little dance. Who? No. Okay. Uh. What are we, Janice Dickinson over here? <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> well, how can you critique a walk? <laughs> her. Uh, what? She's Ooh. literally gorge. You're. No, she's a beautiful girl. And she walks beautiful. She's a beautiful girl. She <laughs> looks nice in beautiful gowns. Period. I don't know Period. if the walk is the the walk. How is it bad? What the makes wa- the walk bad? I serve more than Kendall Jenner when I'm walking <laughs> through the Topanga Mall <laughs> to get to my AMC to use my AMC A list membership. I serve more when Go I'm walking. Go to a B roll of that tonight. Have your boyfriend film. I you. <laughs> I'm like dead ass. Like I can walk. I would home. love to see it. Do it. Do it tonight. I want to see it. Anyone can walk. Like when you were walking through that mall, afraid <laughs> for your life because of people kept asking you for photos. You were serving more than. Kendall I was Jenner. running on that one. Yeah. I was giving more <laughs> page on the runway. <laughs> but I mean, no, she's so good. You are just have no, the goggles on. No, it's you like, have goggles. There's like an like a stiffness kind of. It's not like oh a. God. It just doesn't flow. There's no like personality in the walk. It's just very stiff. She's a beautiful girl. Yeah. She served. She served. That was the mm. one I saw Pop Crave. Shout out Pop Crave. We posted about it. And I was like, oh my God. I almost like retweeted it and I was like, this is amazing. This is stunning. Like, this is everything. Like, I was so excited about it. Like, I don't know why. I was like, she walked a lot of shows for Paris Fashion Week and everyone I saw wasn't great. Um, oh my God. You're a hater. No, she just, she's so good. And then there's like videos of Kylie just like walking out of her car, like just walking down the street. Lot, like, and she just has like a, like a slinkiness to her walk where there was like, <laughs> It was just giving. Kylie's walk is giving when she's just walking no. from her car into like a hotel. But then Kendall's just like, "You are mm. so on something." Kendall's I, just like stomping through. I, I'm like, "Where's like the, the serve. no grace? No, there's no grace. There's no that's personality. The Anyone can just do a cute, sexy walk, but it's like Kendall she's served. So not anybody exactly. Can. She has her own unique walk. It's different. You know a Kendall walk. I see a bad walk. Oh, a Kendall Jenner walk. No, <laughs> that is. I see you, someone walking awkwardly. She, she was like dancing with it too. She had good movement. I just, lo- I kind of live for Kendall now. I saw a video of her being like really awkward. You know the one where she's like dancing like with her feet in and then out. <laughs> what was that for? First of all, I love I it though. Know. I love that she did it. I like I kind of live for it. Like she's horrible on the show, obviously, but like I kind of live for her like little outside appearances. Like I think it's cute. You know, I don't know. She adds, yeah, she has nothing to the show, which is kind of going back to the going to the Courtney Kim fight. It's like, okay, whose side do you want, first of all? Because I saw this all over X, and I was like, we haven't watched it yet, so I was like, we have to watch it, but we watched it. I know. This debate is crazy to me. There's, like, elements to it, right? So, me, personally, as a gay with bias, I'm like, okay, Team Kim. Because something about of Courtney course. just doesn't... Yeah. It just un- Something about her unsettles me, and I don't really vibe with Courtney. I, know. I don't know if that's, like, society or, like pop culture telling us to not like Courtney, but yeah, Courtney does rub people the wrong way. Yeah. Me too. But I will say, okay, so in the fight itself, right, when they're on the phone and then I do believe everything is Kim is saying up to a point and then I think Kim just got a little petty with it. So they're having this conversation. Courtney's saying she doesn't want anything to do with the family anymore because it's all about Kim and then Kim is saying she's off putting and that um, even her friends find her uncomfortable now too, blah, 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 blah. And that, see, that's when I think she took it a little bit too far because then she was saying we, the court, the group chat, not Courtney. Not Courtney, love that. <laughs> That is the funniest thing I think I've ever heard in my life. That's so smart. That, that is smart because sometimes you'll be in two group chats and you're like, oh my God, you got to be careful what you say. Especially if you screen shot a conversation to send to somebody. Like you have to be so careful. So I love that it's like not corny. So you just know. And you can't mess it up. Yes. You know? Yes. But then when she threw out like even your friends are coming to us and saying all this stuff and your kids. kids. That might. Okay. I Kimberly. Know. Like a bitch. No. Kimberly, let's rein it in. Like yeah. that's a little bit too far. Like you don't have to make her feel bad about her kids. Yeah. Yeah, and also, like, it is so vague, like, the way she was, like, you know, all your friends come to us. I'm like, who's us? Who's all your friends? Yeah. Like, who's the stuff like that? Like, it just seemed... Say their names at that point. Say their yeah. names, exactly. Because then the Yes Courtney group chat was exposed on Instagram story where Courtney was like, it's not Simon. <laughs> it's not the other people. Well, I didn't know who they were. No, Sorry. he said no. So Simon, who is, is her publicist and slash Simon friend. Huck. Yes. In his text, he was just seeming like a little bit too, like, 
covering something up. He's like, it certainly wasn't me. I wasn't in there. I didn't say anything. My lips are sealed. I didn't tell Kim a single thing. You can trust me. And I'm like, okay. Well, that's he's giving. also friends with Kim. Yeah. Also. So, like, that is maybe a little more unbelievable because it's like you're also friends with Kim. And, like, of course you talk – you like even in family you just talk trash about like you know people who are being talked trash about like not that you talk trash but you kind of join in you're like well she has changed since she dated yeah. Travis you know like that kind of like stuff or like you get anno- like fed up with someone and then or just like annoyed in general and you need a vent to someone who will get it so if I was Simon or any of the friends in, yeah. the, in the Yas Courtney group chat and Courtney was annoying me I'd go over to Kim because Kim would be like girl I got I got to totally get it course, you know what I mean yeah so maybe it's like that one friend said something to Kim and it's like all your friends are coming to us <laughs> yeah. you know where it seems like a little exaggeration I'm just yeah. like okay which I get too because it's like obviously obviously I don't know these people just disclaimer but I mean it's like yeah I guess I think when you get a new relationship like obviously your friends are gonna feel like some type of way you know what I mean they're gonna feel like oh it's like not the same we don't get you as much like you're all about Travis which I feel like Cor- Kim was like I don't know what the word is. I wouldn't say jealous because obviously, obviously we know she could have Travis if she wanted because in the <laughs> memoir he said he like loved Kim, which that's a whole other issue. So I don't think she's like jealous of that, but maybe just jealous that she's like in this relationship. And I don't know. There's something weird about it because it is, this was like, it is interesting that they like are so, they invite Scott everywhere. There's the, she, like when she was dating Scott, she was very like, you know, trying to keep them together when clearly it was like toxic and horrible. And now that she's like happy with Travis, it's very much like, oh, like you're only about Travis. Like you never see us anymore. Like it just felt very like, I don't know, like trying to ruin someone's happiness, like a sabotage. Chloe too was like super close with Scott. And I get, cause they spent so much of their, especially pre-fame, like a lot of their life with him but yeah. it's also like when you see someone who's treating your sister badly and horribly you, horribly who, cheating body shaming you know ab- alcohol substance abuse drug abuse like taking all that stuff like over her like mm-hmm. multiple times when she just told him she was pregnant he's like what like oh you're fat all it's like the crazy shit like maybe like the shift because once courtney and travis became like couple goal kind of thing like yeah. everyone kind of got into emo oh. kind of movement yeah, you know as, sudden, as you know uh, I was into it. I was like yes we're all going this way now it's great and that's something that Kim could not like attach herself to at all. Right. And it became like so popular. And she is another one who like loves attaching herself to like whatever is like popular at the time. Yeah, she's you know? like, not all of us want to rock out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she wants to, but she doesn't know how to do it. She decided to steal the wedding. She didn't have to steal the rock part of it. She Kim was like, okay. Cra- I'm sorry, Kim cracks me up when she said totally, that. Totally, totally. She goes, yeah, no one's trying to rock out. <laughs> Because she's like, I just was trying to have my own thing. Oh, with the Dolce wedding. She goes, I was trying to have my thing. She goes, you have your own thing. <laughs> the Dolce line, I'm so over. I'm so over it. Although I really want that little Dolce bag. She has a, she has a crystal Dolce bag. It's like $5,000. I love that little bag. But it's like, oh my God, we're bringing this up again. Because she goes, we were over it. And then we watched the edits. <laughs> like, this is so oh not God. relatable to anyone. <laughs> and it was all last season too. Like literally every episode was seizing them fighting over the wedding. And I'm like... Uh, it's annoying. Oh my God. On this particular one, I'm like team Courtney because I'm just like, okay, yeah, like how I don't know though because okay, I don't know where we go with the roots of it because like Kim did steal her like wedding vibes yeah. for her thing, but like at the same time, like that's why Dolce sponsored the wedding. They wanted to get to Kim, you know what I mean? So it's like the, the it was Dolce pieces. It wasn't like Courtney designed them. So yeah, Kim ran with it and made it popular. I also feel bad for Courtney because. The thing about the Travis book, I had to look it up myself because I kept hearing this stuff about Travis talking about Kim in this book. I had to look it up for myself and I'm like, that's wild. That's wild that he like referred to her. He's like, I don't care that she's like a closet girl. Like, you know, we were going on dates and we would say we miss each other and all stuff like that. And it's just like, so they like full on dated, like supposedly they didn't hook up, whatever. But like he full on dated, he had a crush on her, all this stuff like that. And I was just like how could you date someone that was like, or how could you marry someone knowing that that's your, like he'll always be there at the family functions and Kim will always be there? Do you know what I mean? Because no matter what, he had feelings. I don't know. Kind of gives me a weird vibe. I, I really like Travis a lot. And I really like Courtney, but right? Like, it's kind of weird. So I kind of feel bad for Courtney because that's always there. <laughs> yeah. And maybe it's not. I don't know. Maybe it's not. But to me, I'd always feel that way. It's like, oh, you'd want my sister. Which you, you'd have to kind of feel that way anyways when you're Kim Kardashian's sister. Like, everyone wants to get to Kim. Dolce wants to get to Kim. Everyone wants to get to Kim. So he couldn't have Kim. So he went with Courtney. I don't know. So with the Travis thing in particular, I don't think I would care. Because she, at the end of the day, like, she got... Travis, right? Like, she is having his baby. So, they're married. She's having his baby. Right. So, at that point, it's like, yeah. you know, whatever. But I think, in general, like, that overall theme, like, that's kind of what played into, like, the fight is, like, she's separating herself from the family because she's tired of always being, like, a Kardashian sister. Like, you know, the Kim is the main one. She's, like, you know, supporting character. That's why I'm conflicted because I get the theme of why Courtney is saying this stuff. And morally, I'm team Courtney in execution slash 
and having fun, I'm team Kim. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? for sure. Because Courtney, it's like, just get off the show. If you really are like so over all this, like just don't even be on the show. You could get your own spinoff. Travis had his own reality show. Have your own spinoff, The Barkers or whatever. That's Meet The true. Barkers part two. <laughs> They've been teasing Courtney quitting the show for the past like five years. Like since it was on yeah. E, there was like, is Courtney finally going to quit? Girl, just do just it. Quit. Just, just quit. Just quit. If you don't want to do it anymore and you don't want to contribute anymore, just do it. And I think she did want to contribute with the Travis storyline. I think she really wanted that to be a thing. And I don't know who did who dirty on E, but when they had their like little wedding, the Travis and Courtney wedding spinoff, it was so boring. I'm like, mm-hmm. why did they do it? Produce it like the Kardashians? Like, why didn't they produce it with like a show and like a confessional? It was just like weird footage of them. And I was just like, why didn't they do a produced video or See, like reality show? And this goes to why I don't really vibe with Courtney that much. I think she's kind of boring. I think she, her vibe is boring. She is boring, but she could be made interesting with the people around her. Mm-hmm. I think Travis is interesting maybe. I don't know. He used to be on. I used to watch that reality show all the time, Meet the Barkers. I think Landon is like popping off now. I think yeah. Alabama's popping off now. I think there's just so many other people around her that can make it interesting. And like, yeah, she's boring, but she she adds like that character into it. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like she's the kind of the villain to Kim. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so like you need that. It's like, you know, Heidi and Spencer, like you need a villain. Yeah. I didn't expect it to be such like a divisive topic. Like people were really like (laughs) divided over Team Courtney, Team Kim. Who were people mostly siding with? I saw a lot of Team Courtney. Yeah, but then I saw people say, "Well, if you if that one snippet is easy to side with Courtney, but if you see the whole like pick the big picture and see how Courtney is." In the rest of the show, you'd probably team Kim, which I resonated with that. I'm like, that's exactly it for me. Right. Because the conversation just went back and forth so much because with like in that conversation, my, I hated when Kim was like, are you happy? It's like, <laughs> but what? Like, I hate when people ask that. It's like, yeah, I'm happy. What about you? You seem miserable. Like, you're just trying to get into my life. Like, stuff like that's annoying. But then also, Courtney trying to tell Kim how she felt. She goes, you weren't happy for me at my wedding. And she's like, what are you talking about? I was there. And it's like, true. It's like, Rob wasn't at the wedding. And like, Tristan wasn't at the wedding. Like, so many people weren't at the wedding. And so I'm like, well, she was at your wedding. So she didn't want to go. She wouldn't have gone. Like, it's, yeah. So I don't know. Just that whole back and forth. And then at the end of the day, like, look, I feel like you can talk about the Kardashians because that's what they want you to do, right? Like, that's the whole brand is like, they're doing these, they're putting it out on display for people to talk about. So, mm-hmm. and guess what? People watch it. And it worked. I saw it all over X and TikTok and I was like, okay, we got to watch it right now. We would have watched it anyways, but we watched it quick because I was just like, okay, I need to see it. And I feel with them, it's like they literally put their life on display to be like judged and stuff like that. Yeah. So I think they they don't care really at the end of the day. You know, they make so much money. I wouldn't. If I made that much money, if I had my private jet and stuff like that, I would put all our fights on display. I wouldn't care. <laughs> I, I would fake a fight. I'd be like, yeah, let's do it. So I guess I shouldn't judge. The craziest part of the episode for me though was – Chloe and the whales. Oh my god. That was <laughs> what wild. was that? That was crazy. Oh my god, it was so weird. What was it? Like I was so confused by it, the phobia. That was so insane. People go to see whales. <laughs> it's like yeah. And she's like afraid of them where the herp. Kids will just draw them on paper. Oh, she's like, yeah, they'll taunt me. They'll, they'll like, bully me. Like, they'll bully me with it. I was like, what do you think? is the this whale real? Will fly out of the ocean. And- I hope she was just doing it for being funny. I, I have to I say yes. Know. I don't think she was. Because she know. actually, she had to go off Twitter because people were sending her <laughs> photos of whales. And she said, this is not funny anymore, you guys. I'm taking a break from Twitter. I feel that's like weird. that's like, you need to get some help. <laughs> yeah, and also, why are you there? She was like looking with like binoculars. Like, don't look. <laughs> like, if you're scared of something, you hide from that. Not look. So I was like, this feels fake. Like, she's trying to be, like, a cute phobia. It is crazy. So, in case you guys missed it, by the way. So, there's, like, I kind of just jumped into it. But Chloe, they're in Mexico, right? And it's mating season for humpback whales. And (laughs) Chloe reveals that she is, like, deadly afraid of whales. All of a sudden, true crime music. As if a whale serial killer (laughs) is going to come out. And stab her. That, yes. it literally, it's like Michael Myers' Halloween music. The scariest, most dramatic thing. And then the, um, Kim tries to distract her by taking her up to, her, to see her room, which overlooks the ocean. And, <laughs> and then the binoculars peeking into the, trying to find a whale out there. Yeah, that's not like, no, I don't believe it. My favorite line, what are they doing? They're mating? Kim's like, yeah, I think so. That's sick. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Oh, my God. Yeah, she's like, a, she's like a lot for me this season. I love Chloe, but a lot. I was like, girl. It was so um, serious. It's not serious. That's what I'm saying. I think it's like a troll. I think they're trying to be entertaining and cute, which is what it is. You know, people talked about it, but there's no way that's like real. I don't know. I mean, it's too far to even be funny. But they they were asking why the whales are coming so close to the shore. So the killer whales, they eat their young. Yeah. So they come, cl- the way they do it is they drown them. Oh so they God. come close to the shore. This way you can't drown mm-hmm. them. So that's why the whales Wait, are so close to the shore. Wait, who can't drown who? Killer whales will try to drown whales. The other whales. Like What's the, the other whales? whales? Like the humpback whales. The ones we were looking at. So that's why they come close to the shore to protect their little babies. You can't, get, you can't drown in, in shallow water? 
No, because it's too shallow. You can't push you down. There so. was a whale that ate a people and spit them out. Did you? That was Jonah? true. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Jonah in the kayak. whale. <laughs> they, were, they were just kayaking and the yeah. It's okay, so I like. I looked it up after no, I said it because I was like, yeah, it's yeah. real. I love whales. So, but also like I kind of get the fear, but in the water because as much as I love whales, I've done like whale washing and stuff, and like I used to want to be like a marine biologist when I was little. Like everyone I lo- did. Yeah, I love yes, whales. Yes, everyone did. To this day, love them. Me too. Um, but yeah, there, every time I go on a boat, that one that is, there's like this little thing in my back of my head. What if a whale just jumps up? Cause they don't know they can jump and smash the boat. Totally. You know? Yeah. They, they're cra- Yeah. So part, I do get that aspect of it too, as much as I love them, but oh my God. And like killer whales, do you know that in like, um, I think it's in the UK and the waters in the UK, they're attack, they're attacking the rich. They're, um, taking the propellers off of yachts because there's too many boats in there in the ocean oh eat the rich so, yeah mm. so they're smart and stuff so interesting I, I can kind of get the phobia but on land is something is something else you know well they weren't on land i mean chloe was on land oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. okay yeah. they didn't like come up that's why i was like they're not gonna come out of the yeah, water that's what i'm saying it's like an irrational fear you know what yeah. i mean as an, i don't know that whole that whole episode was bizarre yeah i guess chloe just wanted to be cute do you have a fear that's like that irrational like chloe's mm, no i don't really fear much these days i used to fear everything i don't fear much i i don't like like jump scares i don't like that i don't know but like fearing something no you're afraid of your own shadow like what no we're like, <laughs> what we're like at home and like you know how you're in a house and you know there's people there still she'll get scared so i'm afraid Every of your shadow not my just, own shadow i know where she'll i'm just at just walk around the hallway see somebody like oh my god I was yeah like, i don't like oh. people like jumping out but that's not like not no, a run it's not a fear it's not you like walk on life. them and you're afraid huh? what <laughs> you walk on them and you're afraid no that is so not true i do not have fears like that I, like in everyday life i don't fear people jumping out but i think in general i get like scared like i get jump scared but not like a fear Maybe, like, I used to be scared of dogs, but I don't know. But, yeah, nothing, like, crazy. Oh, How about dogs you? Dogs that pretend to be rats. I know. I was going to say, used <laughs> to be oh, afraid. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, dogs. Oh, dogs, yeah. I mean, I can, yeah. I don't know. I used to be definitely afraid of dogs. Like, I used to tell people to, like, hide their dogs. But now I can, like, deal with it a little bit. You know what I mean? I don't know. I always thought. They're cute. Dogs are cute. I just, yeah. Do you have any irrational fears? I don't know if I have mostly rational fears, I think. Like, um... I think drowning. Oh, well, one. I mean, yeah, like that's stuff scary. like that. I guess maybe the most irrational one would be just like being on a boat and a whale jumping on it. Like, I do yeah. have that element. But that's of fear. not like it too irrational. Like, if you're in the middle of the ocean, it does happen. Yeah, things are things like that happen. And mm-hmm. it's like in the middle, being in the middle of the ocean, anyways, is just kind of scary because it's like it goes so deep, so much stuff happens, mm-hmm. people disappear. Like, there's just like so many weird things that happen in the ocean. I don't know if I could do a cruise because of that, too. Never did a cruise? Mm-hmm. Uh, I did one cruise. They were fun until I realized, like, then I started hearing all the scary parts of people disappearing and stuff yeah. and being overboard and like uh, that's that's what's bizarre to me those things are when people get like killed on a cruise yeah. i don't know just the idea of being with the same people all the time i've been on a cruise and it was like fine it was like 2015 it was like it was cute but now it is kind of scary i don't know people just yeah. like know where you're at following you i didn't even know. think about that element to it i was just like just the idea of being out at sea for yeah. days yeah right um, yeah i love the ocean but i don't like to be in the middle of it mm-hmm, me yeah. too it doesn't like to be in the cute little shallow like as far as i can like walk or swim you know <laughs> that'll do what's your favorite ocean you've been to i've only been to the pacific so pacific wait really mm-hmm. oh my gosh yeah. wait so you only been to like hawaii you've never been to bahamas Mm-mm. maldives no I, I was like oh i went to like uh because i went whale watching once in like off of Washington that took us to Canada. So I was like, wait, maybe I was, but then it's Pacific still. Oh, I wait, <laughs> Washington to Canada. Oh. Yeah, that's still the Pacific Ocean. But that's how much I liked whales. I was literally like, it was my dream to see like killer whales in the wild. Uh, so like I went to Washington. You need to go to like see. Antarctica. <laughs> yeah. That's where it is. I built like cruises there too. I was doing it at SeaWorld and then I realized like SeaWorld is like, you're not supposed oh, to go there. I know. Did you ever do that experience now where you can swim with the whales? Like blue no, whales? Oh, I wanted so to. Like I even wanted to do like the sleepaway camp there where you can like train the dolphins and stuff. Yeah, I did that, that was like my dream when I was mm. little. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh shit, it's actually like. And you get to wear a wetsuit. So problematic. I, the wetsuit I couldn't do either because I was big. No, I was big when I did it and they have like XXXL. I know, but then you you just like look at yourself. No, you look like, good. They suck you in. They like oh, really? Oh, I felt so cool because that's all I wanted to be was like a Sea World trainer when I was <laughs> like younger, and I, I finally got to go and you get to like hug the beluga whales. You put your like, arms out and they come through, and it's like so cute. But yeah, I guess it is problematic. Gosh, I know. I always how like I really want to go to Sea World, but like I can't support Me it. I too. just love the animals are so beautiful, and like you don't get to see that, and it just it just sucks that they like treat them like they have them in captivity and they can't like free. I know, and they're like drugged and stuff too. It's like. 
Yeah, that makes me sad. sad. I'm surprised it's still around. I know. It's supposed to be ending. I mean, they they say this forever, but they ended like the breeding program for like killer whales. So they're supposed to be like phased out eventually. People die. They don't do trainers diet. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, yeah, what do they expect? You have these like killer whales in the thing. Yeah. The dolphins are sweet though. I love I used to swim with the dolphins. Like in Cabo, they have like a swim with the dolphin thing. But they take you down. Like the dolphins take you like down to the bottom. And I always got like so scared. Like what if they just like, (laughs) what if you get stuck down there or something like that? It's so scary. But I love dolphins. They're so, I feel like I saw a TikTok recently about like anyone that was born in like the 90s that everyone was like obsessed with dolphins yeah like there was dolphins on leagues of frank there was dolphin statues like everyone loved dolphins. all the dolphin movies like yeah. like flipper and like all those free willy yeah. well that was dolphin but that was yeah yeah there was anti-dolphin propaganda that i, I don't know if it's real <laughs> but um that dolphins the male dolphins they can like get really horny and like they can their penises oh. like wrap around you and they can drown it, people have drowned because their penises come out and like wrap around and then they, they take them underwater and try oh, to like, I heard that them. they yeah, yeah they like breed yeah they they will assault women yeah so it's real yeah oh, oh my god yeah I heard that too when they're on their period like, or you know like a dog that humps a yeah. person they would do that oh no and so people are drowned like that I think for the most part people manage to escape it but yeah like, what, like they would, would it would be like a tourist one like where they go swim with them and then that's what happened. Or wild they, dolphins. They literally will try to have sex with a woman. But wild dolphins are yeah. ones at the... At either, the... either. Yeah. Oh, I would never heard of that. <laughs> I was heard of you had like your period too or something. They could smell it or something. I was sharks. <laughs> oh, I mean, right. They, they we... can't sense a woman, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there was a couple at this, in the 70s that did experiments with dolphins and the woman lived with a dolphin in a house. And they had what? relations. What? Underwater? And they had relations, yeah. What? Oh my God. Mm-hmm. I can't. What happened? They had babies or what? <laughs> no. Oh, what happened? Did she she I married the point, dolphin. <laughs> like she was in a relationship with the dolphin. She was in an intimate relationship with the dolphin. I understand. First of all, how's that legal? And second of all, <laughs> that's like... why I think somebody stopped that experiment because of that. Ew! Wait, but how was she breathing underwater? It was like a house that was like half filled <laughs> with water. I kind of like the idea. Obviously, don't support me. I like, I like the idea because, like, to make a mermaid. <laughs> like, I love the idea because you believe in mermaids. Do you think there's mermaids that are like undiscovered? Probably. Like, there's so much in the ocean that we don't know. Like, there, yeah. there probably could be mermaids down there. Mm-hmm. Maybe I don't know because where did that concept of a mermaid come from? I don't know. How to come from somewhere? Someone had to have seen something. Oh, that makes me not like dolphins. That's a fear. See that? Yeah, I can see why you're scared of dolphins if they do that to you. Like, that's scary. Well, free the dolphins. <laughs> From SeaWorld. <laughs> Where are they going to put them when they're done? There, there's like these, I think they're called open o- open air or something, like aquariums or whatever, where it's like there's these they're tanks that are kind of in the ocean. They're kind of like netted off. So I think they put them there first and then eventually the wild after that. But it's hard to like rehabilitate fully. And then they probably just like get used to their little being drugged in captivity. And then once they go in the wild, they're probably just going to get eaten or something. Yeah, there's a lot of like weird social dynamics. This is now we need to be on the freaking educational <laughs> job. Number one, an educational. We're coming for it. Oh my God. Is there an educational <laughs> podcast? I, there has to be, right? There should be. Because I think we count. Is there an educational podcast where people just listen to be educated on something? Because how boring. I mean, we're doing it right now. We are yeah. teaching <laughs> this is the, the marine biology episode. <laughs> I would love it. Marine biologists, if you want to come on. But you have to be entertaining. Yeah, that would actually be so iconic. That'd we had like great. a TikTok dancing like marine biologist or something. Yeah, yeah. I suppose there's not. I feel like there everyone's really on TikTok. Be. Maybe there is. Like that studies dolphins or something. Because wouldn't that be so successful if like studying like whales and dolphins, but then you're also doing like fun TikToks? But you probably get so much hate like if there's dolphins behind you like flipping around. That's true. You have to be like in the ocean or something. Yeah. yeah. And then something that's like probably that. like, you probably just can't get the dolphins to do what you want. <laughs> if you're in the ocean, <laughs> they're not going to come on cue or anything like that. I do love, I do love a dolphin. I think they're so great. Speaking of dolphins and monkeys and King Kong. I'm scared. I'm on King Kong magazine. (laughs) I should have said at the beginning. Thank you. I went on both. Um, I should have said at the beginning of the episode, what are we, like an hour and a half in? (laughs) I looked at my notes briefly and I was like, oops, I'm on the cover of a magazine. (laughs) I already got the pictures blown up. We're going to put it behind Oscar next episode. (laughs) I got the mixed tiles uh-huh. ordered. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I'm on the cover of a magazine. It finally came out. I remember I was telling you for so long. I did, was, I'm like, <laughs> part <laughs> like, of me was like, real? does she lie? <laughs> that, I was, you do have to question that with me sometimes. So, but uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> because I was like, it's kind of been a while. Like, where is that magazine? Yeah, because but... we shot it in August and um, they were announcing all these other covers, like Julia Fox and stuff. And I was like, oh my God, what if they decide not to put me on the cover? That's so embarrassing. You know what I mean? I thought I shot the cover. Um, and then mine was the last. Moses said they saved the best for last. <laughs> No, first of all, that's not true because they have a bunch of like male models that got sponsored by like Gucci to be on the cover. Right, but 
It was obvious that she'll be the last one. No, my like the this is the Delilah. So the subject, the subject of this issue is Americana. So it's like Miss the Americana. most like American <laughs> culture and all that. And from all the people they showed, nobody was really. It wasn't but you didn't know them. You don't know who they are. Maybe they are. No, we but just don't I'm know saying who they are. as far as visually, I was like, and then comes. The Queen of the People with oh the KFC God. cover. This is, this is not my opinions, by the way. This is because he's like, and when they first showed me the cover, I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of like, that's the one they use. Like I was fine for the cute, the camp of it all, but I was like, no, I did cute bikini ones and a tanning bed. Like I did some grass sexy ones, and I was like, oh no, this is the cover. But honestly, when I saw the other ones, I was just like, because the other ones were great. They had a bunch of sexy yeah. people. There were sexy men shirtless. There were sexy women in bikinis. So I was like, honestly, like it's kind of a serve, you know? It's like just some KFC vibes. Everyone's like, oh my god, I can't believe you're doing the T pose. And I was like, what's a T pose? Like I had to oh, look it up. The cross. Okay, that's what I thought originally, but then I guess they say it's like it's like for characters in a video game. So I've what's the, is it offensive? Well, I don't I know. Think, I'm like, I oh my god, why is she doing T pose? The cross comes before the video game. Oh but, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought I, I looked up T pose, and the first thing came up was like video game. Yeah, characters. I think in, like T when they say T pose, they mean the video game character. I don't think it's offensive. Yeah. I think it's just like a <laughs> it's like the models of characters like when they make mm-hmm. them, they're in that pose. Oh okay, it's kind I, of like a meme kind of. Thing. I didn't pose that way. We had a really good photographer. She was very young and edgy, and she. I just love like. First of all, she was so young, and I was like, oh my god, it's crazy. Our other photographer too. Yeah, we did another cover. All. There's another cover coming out in a couple weeks. Those are really great too. And his, he was also like 20. Everyone's mm-hmm. like so young. It's crazy because it's like I, I, I feel young, and then I see these people, and I'm like, oh my god, they're so young. And the photographer of the next one too, he was super young. They were both models too, which is weird. Both the photographers right. were models. They were both like very like. And beautiful, like thin, like edgy, like mo- like the gorgeous models. And I was like, oh, that's so weird that these beautiful models are also photographers. I'm just a cover girl doing another cover at the end of this month. <laughs> I don't know what all these magazines coming but for and all of a sudden. Had, your huh? cover had so much depth to it and a story. <laughs> the so it's like, yeah. <laughs> What's the story behind it? Well, it's like the, this kind of like the everyday life and culture, you know, no. like more, not just having a flag, you know, having yeah. something that's actually. And I feel I'm, like, yeah, go ahead. I'm just saying American culture is hard to identify, but there's those moments when you know. There's nothing like a fat girl standing outside of a fast food restaurant to say America. <laughs> no. They were asking me all these questions about being American, and I'm like, I don't know. They're like, what makes you American? I'm like, I don't know. I'm like fat, I guess. Like, <laughs> which is good because that is America. If they would not have put one fat person on that cover, they would have missed it completely. Yeah. You know, problematic. <laughs> but you should read what they say about without... you. You should read what they say about you. Um, they said I was a performance artist. Which the is best. great. They said, I was, oh, they also said, like Colonel Sanders, she has built an empire. I like quote, I have all these in my mind. I'm like, wow, they really hyped me up. Thank you, King Kong Magazine. It's available in Europe, but you can like order it now on KingKongMagazine.com. I ordered five copies. I was like, this is everything. That was like, that was, I was shook that that happened. Yeah, you should definitely order it now because it's going to sell out soon. I don't think they sell out of print. I think you just keep printing it. <laughs> I, don't, I think things like this, they pre, you know, they print a bulk amount. It's like 400 pages. It's like really... Oh, my God. Yeah, it's like a big magazine. I guess other people aren't... Like, they just did a bunch of influencers and people... I don't know. I have no idea what it is, but I know I'm the cover of one of them. There was like nine covers, and they were all beautiful covers, but I was very excited to see mine. Me and Julia Fox. Julia Fox DM me. She goes, oh, my God, we're cover sisters. I was like, (laughs) I love it. It was so great. I I was very excited about it, so... Yeah, the other concepts too. The next one I did, we already shot it, but that one was wild too. It's just funny because I never had stylists. I don't have all these things. So when people come style me, it's like so different than how I would like dress. It feels fun. I love being a model. I'm going to be like the Kardashians. They all have their covers in their glam room. Oh, yeah. So. You already are like that. What are you talking no, about? No, I don't have my covers. It's just photos of me. You have all your album covers. Oh, that's true. That's true. Well, those aren't like real though. <laughs> those that are just like real. real songs. It's more than that just I made an and produced and bought. Actual music. Actual... Yeah, but this is like a real magazine. I hired a photographer that like put me on the. I cover. think it's more real to have a music album that you have a cover of it on the wall. That's more real. I don't think so because anyone can make an album cover. You can have your own album cover. And it's on there. I think it's like I'm gonna make a magazine though. I would love to have an like a T magazine like O. Oh. <laughs> then just be on the cover every month. That would be so much fun. Have sexy crosswords. Maybe do a summary of our podcast for the month. Like, I just think it would be so much fun. Like, I would love to have it. It could be a very real possibility. Because I was doing all these magazine covers, and I'm like, why don't I just do my own magazine? <laughs> it would be everything. Because a lot, it's just like, it's just what we're missing in the world. There's like magazine subscriptions coming to your house, like Nickelodeon Magazine, like yeah. all those magazines, Cosmo Teen, like Cosmo, Cosmo Girl, Cosmo Girl. Teen People. Teen People. Oh my god, do they even make those no. anymore? Wow, For a those long were time. such yeah. like big, big ones. I want to be on the cover of Vogue. Why not? Do you think Anna Winter would hate me because I'm fat? Mm, no. Has she ever been had fat people at the Met? Yeah, she had plus size people. Plus Who? size people at the Met, like Barbie Ferreira. She's plus size. She's like Ashley Graham. Barbie Ferreira from Euphoria. Mm-hmm. Ashley Graham. Mm-hmm. I don't really 
would consider them plus size. Like, they're not fat. I think Barbie's plus size. I think uh, this is the debate. Look, I'm not, like, trying to take it away from them or anything like that. But that's what I kind of hate is that they're the plus size models because they're just, like, they have flat stomachs. You know what I mean? Mm, they're not, like, they're not, there's no fat to them. So, like, the average, like, my belly is not going to fit into what their belly fits in. You know what I mean? I think, like, has Lizzo been to the Met? Mm-hmm. Okay, so there you go. Like, that to me is, like, and I would say, like, what you want about Lizzo, but it's, like, to me, that's, like, real fat representation, and I know there's, like, controversy on if fat should be represented because it's not healthy and whatever, but it's, like, just the majority of people are fat. That's just, like, people are, like, I'm, like, probably, like, I don't know, how many people? You think 80% of the country is fat? You know, I get it if you don't support it or whatever, you think it, like, lacks willpower, but people who are fat just want to see fat people out there sometimes, you know what I mean? So, but I think, like, Barbie Ferrer and, um... Uh, Ashley, Ashley Graham, they're like models. It's like when they were calling Kim Kardashian like thick and stuff like that. I was like, even when you look back, I was like, God, they never really were. No. You know, like they were thicker. They weren't like sticks, you know what I mean? But they definitely weren't like. Yeah. But as a, like a fat girl, you're like, oh yeah, that's what I look like. Especially Chloe. Like, you know, I was like, oh, I look at her. But even when she was fat, she wasn't like fat, you know? But okay, so Anna Winter likes fat. Accepting at least. Okay. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> I love that you have Velcro shoes. I just noticed that. <laughs> I know. I, oh my gosh. Why? <laughs> Do you not know how to tie your shoes? I didn't learn how to tie my shoes until I was like I really late. I was a late bloomer. Maybe until I was like 12 or something. Oh my gosh. And I still am really bad at tying my shoes. Really? Yeah. So you just wear the Velcros. That's yeah. That's everything. Mm-hmm. Also, you were the MVP last week for coming to get those cards at like 7 o'clock at night after you had a tire. A nail <laughs> oh, your tire. Yeah. You were so great for that. I had to give a shout out because we had the Jeff Wittick episode and we got ours out like right away because, you know, it, it, it wasn't like I was trying to like beat Jeff, but like I was telling Jeff, I'm like, it's probably Thursday because we, you know, need an episode for tomorrow or whatever. And he was like, okay, I'm going to try and get mine out. But like he, I think his, by the way, go watch the Jeff FM. I think it's out today. I think it, or Monday, so it's already out. Um, but you turned that around so fast, which is like crazy. Like <laughs> you had a nail in your tire, then you drove to the, my house at like seven o'clock to get it while we were still filming Jeff FM. You edited it and had it up so early the next day. I was just like, you are so good at it. Like you are the ultimate like turnaround. It's it's amazing. And all and we don't usually do that. Usually with guests, we like have some time. But yeah. like we needed an episode that day. And you, yeah. I know you were even trying to work around it. Too. It's not like Trisha's like cracking. No. <laughs> she literally was like, oh, we can do it like next week. And I was like, no, we're gonna make it work I for know. this. <laughs> no, you're so good. Even with hot topics like i mean there's times we've gone so late and you do it so so thank you you're an mvp always <laughs> we did give him a raise everyone's like give oscar more money we have a raise coming for you oh i think i actually needed to pay you yesterday but <laughs> i'll get to it i was making the list i was making my little it's like yeah, i'm very with money i'm very just like okay let me look at everything but we did i have to give a raise i mean you're kind of just killing it you're everything so like that no yeah. it's the, i love doing it it's like the, it's the best it's so fun the way you like edit and the, even our little like our kiki moment <laughs> I love a good Kiki. Oh my gosh. Is there a podcast called Kiki? Kiki should have been Kiki with Kiki. Oh my God. Kiki, Kiki Palmer. Get on it. Yeah. Kiki Palmer just did a thing. They were asking if she was still together with her ugh, annoying boyfriend. And she said that's none so, of your yeah. business. I know. I kind of live for that. That means, yeah, she is yeah. dating. It, which again is where you should go. I mean, yeah. I mean, what are you going to do when you have a baby fresh with someone? It's like. And if you like really love someone, it's hard. Like I again, if I was, it's one of those things where if, like me as an outsider, I'm like leave them. But then if I was in there, yeah, I, I'd probably be like sticking through. So yeah. I can't really, I can't really fault her for it. Oh man, I know, and that's why I said I don't even fault her like Kim or any of those people. Obviously sticking with Tristan and Kanye, but it's like just don't throw it in our faces. Yeah, seeing Tristan come around, I'm just like, oh my god, it's like it's actually <laughs> the most scare. triggering thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> jump scare. <laughs> totally that too what other hot topics do we have um the photos of ariana grande and ethan slater at disneyland oh, right yeah oh my god she was wearing, was she wearing a wicked hoodie i think so it right? was like black with like a green w on the back yeah. so i think that was wicked which i'm kind of like love that <laughs> romo so they're together they are confirmed bona fide together they're playing it so low the fact that they've been together this whole time and like was kind of like a question mark for a minute and I, like, has the wife said anything? Has she said anything? Mm-hmm. It's been quiet, like, on all fronts. Like, I am just going to give it the benefit of doubt and just be like, their relationships were, like, over. Like, it just wasn't working. With the baby one, it's hard. The baby one's hard. Like, you just yeah. had a baby. Like, that one's hard. Like, I could see, like, her, Ariana and her husband. I don't know. I'm just going to give it the benefit of doubt that I wasn't working. And they just... Yeah. I don't know. That's We just had this discussion, like, yeah. last week. And we had a guest on, and we were talking about this. And it's like, when you're on set and you have chemistry, like... I don't know. But I think that, again, I really think you have to be unhappy in the relationship because, like, if you had someone that's, like, good and, like, again, like, I always use our example. Like, there's just no way I would ever leave Mo's. Like, I will never find someone who's just, like, loving and, like, wonderful to me. Like, there's just no way I'd find that with anyone. I've never had that with anyone. I wouldn't find that with anyone. So even if I was, like, on set, 
we're doing the idol too and I'm with the weekend. Like it's just like there's just no way. Even if you have chemistry, even if you're like, oh, this is hot or whatever like that, there's no way I'm gonna be like, bye, Malibu and Moses. I'm gonna go with Abel now. You know, yeah. even he'll be with Bella Hadi next week or something. I don't know. It's just like so so bizarre. So you have to just be unhappy in the relationship, I think. Yeah. Cause if it was a really solid relationship, you wouldn't have that like you wouldn't buckle. You wouldn't crack under the the temptation. You yeah, know? and you'll lose. What they say, you lose them as you get them, or something like that. It's like Chloe, you know. And it's mm-hmm. like a, a poor thing. Like I feel so bad for her, you know. But Tristan was with somebody that ha- like was pregnant yeah. or was married or whatever or had babies with. So it's like, yeah, you you know that about someone. Ariana obviously has that track record, you know. It's just like. I don't know. By the way, become a member, get Trish Mojis. Did you figure it out how to get like? Yeah, we're getting new Trish Mojis. We're getting new new badges. badges. We're getting a whole member makeover. We gotta get the memberships. Those headshots. Like I want to, I want a membership tier that gets headshots, but it sounds complicated. I just need like every month like a list of names to send headshots to. I love headshots; these are a hit. Everybody who comes, all the guests, all the friends of the guests that come, they all want Trish headshots. So we're gonna figure out a membership tier that they can get Trish headshots. Yeah, it's definitely possible, especially like on, if we do like a Patreon or something. There's yeah, like a tier where you can get physical. I just think you're just too busy. <laughs> we'll get there. You're though. too busy. We need a membership. What is it called? The fan club. Oh yeah, the Trish fan club. A just club. Trish fan club. Yeah. That would be everything. It's like a little card and like the monthly headshots. Oh, yeah, but we just can't hire anyone because, like, ugh, Yolanda, you know, when she started the fan club. <laughs> it's like those people always, like, scare me a little bit. I don't know. It's so sad. What were we just talking about? Before that? Oh, Ariana, Ariana. and Ethan. Yeah. yeah. So I guess it's official. Disneyland official. She needs to come in. And I guess she has, like, a pattern of taking, like, her men to Disneyland. Oh. Is, like, <laughs> Is that what someone said? Thing. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's where she always takes I guess it was dark out, too. <laughs> Who is Disneyland at dark time? Like, what are you doing at nighttime at Disneyland? <laughs> I guess she was trying to, like, not be, like, be undercover. With her wicked hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> oh man ariana what are you doing here yeah ariana is gorge i don't know i don't know what to say and that's what that's what would hurt the most not hurt the most but it just it just sucks like if i was if it would get if it was moses and he left me for Ariana, it's just like i'll never be that i'll never be rich pretty skinny famous like i'll never be that and then you just kind of feel bad about yourself even though it's not about the person but you yeah. just feel bad then there's also like i get it yeah. you know I, i'm putting myself in, my, in the moses situation if it was moses like i guess i get it i don't know and I'm not as good of a partner to Moses as he is to me, so I kind of get that too. I was like, well, maybe she cooks for him or something like that. I cook, but <laughs> last night he cooked pasta vodka. Oh my God. That was my favorite. I wish I could have it again tonight. It was so good. And I said no more pasta this week because we've been eating so much pasta and it was the best pasta vodka I've ever had in my entire life. It was so good. I ate so much of it and I was so full. I felt like a big, I felt like a whale. <laughs> Chloe, watch out. <laughs> she would not want to be here on the podcast. <laughs> She'd be like, there's a whale. No, that's just Trish. <laughs> But I felt like a whale. I couldn't move. I physically couldn't sit up. And I was like, oh, man. For Back to Ariana for a second. There's like a another part of the story I wanted to get your opinion oh, on. Oh, I didn't know there was a second part. So a lot of people are theorizing that like behind the scenes, Ariana has been really supportive of like Colleen. So What? Because, Who said this? Because their families are really close and they've been friends for so long. Oh. That and there's like this fan, there's like this theory that behind the scenes she's been supporting Colleen. Who, who came up with this theory? I've seen it on, really yeah. TikTok or Twitter or YouTube or um, I saw it on YouTube first. Was it like spill sash, tea spill? No, it was like a smaller channel. Um, how would they know so this? Though? There's nothing like calm. that's why it's like kind of like you know, it's all alleged and very like hypothetical because there's no like actual like connecting of the dots or anything. It's not like, um, another friend who on stage was like endorsing you know or supporting right um but it was interesting to think about like behind the scenes of Ariana, like where ariana would mm. stand on like the on the colleen situation <sighs> that's a can of worms i know that's like a yeah i don't know it is it's hard i know it's hard when you're like real. i don't know how close they are first of all they go way back. Right. They go way back. But have they been together recently in anything? Like, just because you're friends with Frankie Gondry doesn't mean you're friends with Ariana Grande. <laughs> There's very two separate things. You know what I mean? But I don't know if they're, like, close. Like, I don't know. But also, do you think she follows that drama? I think it's, like, how do you avoid? Because she's yeah, so Yeah, Colleen was huge. Yeah. But I'm saying about the drama. It's, like, not the drama. The allegations, the actual things. But I'm saying, like, to, to experience it, you have to be on YouTube. You have to True. be on certain social media. I think you can't miss it. Like, there's people that are not on social media that just sort of like, they can't miss that. You know what I right, mean? Right, so she'll see a headline, but will she actually not get dive full, in and look? The full extent of how Because I think what I've noticed is with big celebrities, they just assume other celebrities are being lied on. Like, you know, kind of, of course, like JoJo. yeah. You think that because you just think, oh, it's like blown out of proportion or that's like twisted Especially truth or something. Especially if they heard their side of the story yeah. at some point. Um, that is a good question. If that's the case, we have to throw out our sweetener foundation and our pink cloud Oh, yeah. And she still follows Colleen on Instagram. Interesting. People are very 
big on not un- un- unfollowing. Like people don't like to unfollow. They will like mute, but they don't want to like unfollow. That's which especially I'm like, when you're that famous, like I, yeah. That's interesting. But, um, hmm, well, it says a lot. Honestly, like these kind of situations always says a lot about people. Like when you see if they support or not. I see people supporting her. Sometimes I'm just like, mm. like again, you can like love someone and like you know whatever. You don't have to like, but just not saying anything. The people who like st- like speak out of support. It's like that's kind of like okay. Like, yeah, at least Ariana hasn't like publicly, and I don't think she ever because that's like no. you're that famous. It's like you're never gonna like get involved. But um, yeah, but I guess the follow is a public enough. Yeah, I think unfollowing is such a statement without making a statement. You know what I mean? And it's like I just because there's just certain people you just don't want to support that way. You know what I mean? If you're still following, if you're still doing this, but um, that's right. I forgot they were friends. I forgot they were friends. Oh my gosh, I'm rethinking my whole Ariana stand card. <laughs> I Maybe I should take it all back. <laughs> I didn't know. She's secretly just there with like Colleen making fun of my weight, being like, look off this fat whale. Like, oh let's god. send her her OF. Oh my god, did you see this? Look at her nasty C section scar on her poopa. Oh my god. I can just picture. Oh my god, now I'm feeling like triggered. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they're that close. I don't think <laughs> she's not like, at the viewing party. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if they're on the viewing party. What level. if she was? Oh my god, and I'm like standing her hardcore. What if she was? Because that was a while ago. During maybe the thank you next days. Oh my god, that would be insane. Oh my god. I can't even like let that process in my mind because then that would just like ruin i know i feel like we need to like okay we're jumping we're jumping reach out for a statement or something (laughs) oh my god that's crazy i actually have a friend that's friend with ariana and he says she's like really sweet so i'm gonna just believe she's sweet yeah hence the sweetener foundation (laughs) she has a new album coming out too does she yes it comes out in october i think it's like she's in like an all silver metallic like liquid thing that was ai Oh, God, they really do get me. They really get me. They have like Demi Lovato winning an Oscar or something. And I was just like, oh, man, like they get me. There was another AI one. And they're like, I was trying to give her a Grammy. Was it Carly Rae Jepsen? But yeah. they put her on like the red carpet or something. <laughs> the um, AI photos have been crazy. It's been like this crazy and a TikTok and Twitter trend. Like the stands making like the um, random celebrity AI images and like the yearbook AI trend on oh, TikTok. Oh, yeah, too. I've seen that too. It's all very like... Yeah, AI yeah. is tricky. I have an AI coming out, but we'll save that for later. <laughs> There's a company that I did AI with. Oh, I thought, oh, I got to finish that. I have to finish the audio. The first round was like, it didn't sound like me. I was like, oh, no. But this next round, I think it's going to be. Are you like, because, you know, Dixie, I mean, no, Charlie and Mr. Beast are like AI. They play AI characters for meta. Oh, are you I like thought Laura DIY do that. Oh, was she like, wants <laughs> to? Yeah, it was like, it was like Charlie DIY or something. I don't know. She was like herself, but DIY. Oh my God. Mine's like me. Mine's like Trish. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, like hey. Charlie had like a weird name. Like they all have weird. Right. They come up with like, yeah. yeah I don't, what I don't is that get from? It. What format is that it's in? It's for fa- meta, Facebook or Instagram. Um, yeah. Why is everyone changing the name, the rebrand, the meta, why the it, X? I know. It's confusing. Just keep it as Facebook. And why change your name from Charlie to some random like dance teacher? Like oh, she, she became is... like a, a English dance teacher or something. I guess so. It's not them. Like it's not like people are saying I'm, see. it's Dixie because it is kind of scary. Because I even think with mine, I'm like, I guess you're just like talking to these people and don't really control what you're saying. Yeah, that's true. But I guess you know it's AI. My first one was like really weird. The first round was just like, yeah, babe, sounds great, babe. Let's do this. <laughs> like, I was like, wait, this doesn't sound like me. Yeah, but I think they're gonna get the AI down. It's a, it's a pretty cool company so we'll see some other youtube stuff that i would i think would be funny for your take on okay, okay. have you seen the new controversy about mr beast it was like about his posts on twitter slash x he's been no. teasing some of his video ideas on there and people have had like very mixed opinions on them so no. there's there's two things so one he um he paid someone to like live in a grocery store it's like i'll pay i'll um, give you money for every day you live in like the sh- grocery store and the guy is still in the grocery store. So he tweeted. Uh, now? Currently? Yeah. Because he's not leaving. He's like, this guy's going to make me broke because he um, won't leave. How much is he paying per day? Me- and is other people shopping in this grocery store? No, he bought the grocery store. Oh, my God. What is this world? Like, what is this for content? Let me just buy a grocery store for someone to live in. Let me see if that's he said different. how much money. Like, if you're just living in a grocery store with people, like, that's different. So basically, you bought him a house with unlimited amount of food that's in it. That's true. Does it get stocked every morning? <laughs> Why would you leave? <laughs> I guess you can't cook it. It's ten thousand dollars each day. Wow. Oh my god! I was, th- I was in there for a long time too. <laughs> I was in there forever. He said if the guy stays in there for the whole year, he'll make three point six million. Oh, that's easy. Yeah, that's easy. So I don't understand the point of this. And, and why did he do this? Mr. Beast blacked out all the windows and locked him in the store. <laughs> right, right. He's kind of stuck in there. What? Mr. Beast. So weird. Yeah. So that's this- like weird. 
humiliation or something or torture. Yeah, so that's where it's like <laughs> getting into like this weird territory that a lot of people were saying like mm-hmm. it's this weird capitalism thing. It's almost like it gives me like saw vibes. Like saw I feel like that's vibes I feel like much. we're going down that path. Yeah. It's also very like I'm rich, like go do this weird like dehumanizing thing, like live in a grocery store yes. with no windows or something. <laughs> And then he also shared an idea that he was kind of working on where he posted a picture of like pretty much like a cell and um, said if you and if you and another person were like locked in there um, and you would for 100 days, but you get like $100,000, would you do it? But if one person quits, you get nothing. Well, 100 days is nothing. But to be stuck in a cell with another person for 100 days. What kind of cell? Like what are we talking? It's just a white room. Yeah, but that's again, that's like torture because then you just like go crazy because you're like in this wall in isolation. Like, that's weird. I don't know. This is like, what's another? There's like another thing where like rich people like do this for like pleasure. Like, they like, there's another movie. I can't think of it. I don't know. It's just a weird thing to like pay people money to do these like really like. It's one thing to like, okay, whoever put, takes their hand off a car or something, whatever. Yeah. Like, that's another thing to be like, let me put you in a cell. It's like, okay, let me put you in a house with someone or something. You know what I mean? But a cell, like, <laughs> Like, what? mentally torture you, basically. Yeah, and like, white walls in general will make you go insane after a while. So, yeah, that's very weird. Yeah. I don't, I always said this about Mr. Beast, too. I kind of, like, don't get it. I feel like this is a weird, and now this turn is becoming weird and odd, and I don't think he needs it. Like, the Squid Game thing, it's cute. It's, like, theme, and it's fun, and it's, like, you know, relevant, but this is, like... I, I'm scared of, like, the evolution of, like, right. where, where his videos are going. Cause, like, yeah. let's do a real-life Hunger Games, you know? <laughs> it's like, okay, calm down, Mr. Beast. Like, that's what it's going to come down to, and people are going to do it because they're insane. Doesn't it seem like that's, like, the road that he's going on? Because, yeah. yeah, it keeps getting, like, more and more and more extreme. And I guess when you already, like, push the limit and that's what your content is known for, you know? It's like, at what point do you reach, like, the threshold yeah. of how far you can push something? I guess when someone gets hurt or something like that. Yeah. Like, it's just for real. You just stop because, like, someone will – I guess you sign so many papers that's, like, if you go insane, if you die, like, it doesn't – you know. Like, he, he's smart that way where he probably has paperwork and stuff and, like, safety. Yeah, because he's not like a David. Like, he has yeah. a whole – like, the Mr. An Beast compound. Yeah. yeah. Like, there's <laughs> so many layers. Like, his business. Yeah. He's, like, an actual actual business, like, production. Which is, like, kind of also not great for reality. It's, like, reality show stars, too. It's, like, you sign up for, like, literally anything and mm-hmm. you can't sue. Like, if you suffer mental stress, PTSD, like, you just can't sue because it's, like, in your contract. It's, like, we can basically do anything to you and you just can't sue us yeah which is like the scary part of reality tv so just play the lottery it's better for your mental health somebody <laughs> wins one guy just claimed his two billion dollar prize and bought a 50 million dollar house just play the lottery someone's got to win and it could be you and you probably have better chances than being on a mr beast video and winning the mr beast video <laughs> on top of that so uh yeah stay away from reality shows and maybe mr beast for now so secret reality shows the golden bachelor aired this week and we have a very special guest coming up um my mom i tried to get her on the show she said she applied i tried to apply for her we tried so many ways she did not get on this show and i'm like i'm perplexed by it all we watched the golden bachelor last week so for our special guest interview today we have um my mom who qualified for the golden bachelor wasn't there she's the golden bachelorette she's looking for you to date her so when we come back our skeleton will be replaced by my lovely mother all right welcome back from that commercial break although there wasn't a commercial (laughs) because we don't have a sponsor today so welcome back to our golden bachelorette abc don't sue us but it's my mom who should have been on the golden bachelor my mom. Hi. Thank you. Hi, guys. How are you? You look like a golden bachelorette. Look at you. Hey, I'm, you know, want to be in the running. Oh, my. You applied. First, I did. I applied for this one, but I didn't get picked. I don't know why. But so now I'm going to try and be the first golden bachelorette. Yeah. Well, they probably woo-woo. will pick someone. Woo-woo. They'll probably pick someone from that show. <laughs> To be the golden bachelorette, but you can be like oh. our golden bachelorette. We'll like modify it so it's not like trademarked. We'll oh. be like the golden bachelor. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay. But I also love your dress. It's Fashion Nova. Yes, thank you. Fashion Nova. Thank we you. love a sponsorship. I wear Fashion Nova every episode. Um, it's the only thing that fits me, so we love it. It's just affordable. When you find Fashion Nova, like they have everything, everything you need. I wore that. Speaking of cover of magazine, I wore this on the cover. Of, I got the cover, by the way, in the oh. middle of our break. I got the cover for the next magazine. And I wore a fashion over. I wore fashion over for that whole shoot. <laughs> it was like this editorial, like high fashion. Anyways. Well, you did pick this out for me, so. Actually, no. I picked out a more conservative one for you, and then you sent me that one. You're like, this oh. one's better. <laughs> So you but picked it's also it up. a medium, so you know what? Get a large. <laughs> just like, oh. We always talk about buying a size up, just feeling comfortable. And nobody in can it. tell if it's a medium or large. Remember, you used to say, "Oh, you know, I'm a medium." And- 
Yeah, that, no, I, we always talk about that. Buy the so. true size. I'm 1X now. You know, I used to want to be XL, but 1X just feels so much more comfortable. Mm. Okay, so you apply for The Bachelorette. But first, since okay. it's me, <laughs> if you follow me, we always have to do a cheers. Okay, my mom brought the golden <laughs> flutes for everyone. <laughs> right. Is it Red Bull in here? <laughs> yes. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Here we go. Spike. She's like, there's a little something in there <laughs> it's for you. Like it. It. <laughs> it smells like, it literally smells like alcohol mm. or something. <laughs> Red Bull's even more dangerous than alcohol, yeah, so wait. I'm sorry. Thanks, Mom. This We're is all my mom drinks. Short for it's sure. sugar-free, if that makes a difference. <laughs> um, all right. Cheers. Wait, are we toasting, too? To- well, you toast, because I don't want to toast to myself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. To my mom, finding love at 65. She's never been more alive. Sorry, Gary, you missed out. Cheers, Cheers to the Golden <laughs> Bachelorette. Not <laughs> trademarked. Woo. Okay, I'm going to have a sip of this. I never have it. I'm going to be ready. <laughs> okay. Woo. We should have had this before. When you got up at 4 a.m., we should have had this before. Wait, this I is... have something else, too. Okay. But go ahead. God. That's insane. <laughs> this is crazy. I this love... is like, I feel like I'm drinking gasoline. <laughs> Oh that's my goodness. That's insane. That's the most. I mean, I'll have another sip, but that's insane. I guess since I'm older, my taste buds are. Mm, cause I, I you drink it. this every day. She drinks every this every day. day, which I'm like, okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Don't. Aren't we supposed to bring your own cards? Oh, oh okay. okay. What is this right. one? Oh. Oh, gee, I found it in a Poshmark tub. Oh my gosh. Is this like a thing? <laughs> wow. What is that? How old is that? Oh, it's right? an old one. Did you make this or did I? You did. No, really? I kept no it way. Around. There's I'm no way. I use this sometime. I wouldn't even know how to make that. There's no way I made that. Let's take well, a grab. I mean, you had somebody that. make it. Did you ever see this? I might oh have to put this up on Posh. It's kind of. <laughs> put it up on Posh? How much are you going to get for it? Oh, my God. <laughs> well, I don't know. But first of all, <laughs> I'm going to apologize to Oscar. Oh, my gosh. gosh. <laughs> because are, you're going to have so many edits during this. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Session that I'm so sorry. What? <laughs> what are you gonna know. say? Oh, that might be true because we talked about this over the weekend. The Golden Bachelor and my mom brought the hater aid. I'm like, Mom, must be a little nicer to these women. Oh my God, my mom was not about the Golden Bachelor. Is it Gary I or Jerry? About it though. I have thought about okay. it since. Oh my Good God. because I do think I got a little bit of my hater aid when I was younger from my mom because we used to be little gossipers back in the day in the Midwest, and I feel like we were hater aid for a minute. But now we're we're going the other way. We're right. going okay. I just wrote a few notes. Okay. <laughs> Oh my God! I have a notebook? journalist. Oh my well, gosh! You know, at my age, you kind of forget things. I love it. I love so, this. Oh my gosh! Okay. Well, yes. all right. So you have notes, but I'm interviewing you. <laughs> no, I got the answers to the notes. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Well, let's just talk about the show. So, what do you think about? It? Is it Gary or Jerry? I think it's Gary, right? Gary. So you watched The Bachelor. It premiered last Thursday. There were mm-hmm. so many people getting sponsorships on TikTok for it. There was a like, people oh. getting paid to promote this. We're not getting paid to promote it, Oscar. <laughs> We should be on it. ABC. What ABC. Is going on? Oh. oh my god! Don't you have connections there? Is it ETE with ABC? No, They're no not? relationship. CBS. <laughs> Mom, you're 65. Ow. I feel like you look the best you ever look. We look at home videos, and I'm like, it's actually crazy your glow up. What do you attribute it to? You. Oh, <laughs> my daughters. <laughs> not look like this that's, if I didn't have daughters all, that's I, not true mom you are like <laughs> fit and shaped there's no way you no. do that to me because you know when I grew up my mom she wasn't into fashion she wasn't into hair or makeup I wouldn't know nothing about makeup you did your so, own makeup today too I was gonna get you full I glam did. I thought Callie was gonna do it and you're like no I did it myself I was yeah, like, oh, well you have to do your I, own makeup before on the bachelor they all do their own makeup and oh, hair they? Yeah. they look beautiful the first woman that came out came out in a gold dress I'm surprised more women didn't come out on a gold dress because it is the golden bachelor he was very excited about her he's like we are making history right now you're the first oh, yeah. bachelor who stood out to you? Which bachelorette stood out to you? Well, obviously, what stood out is the woman who's had the birthday, and she and she goes, "Happy birthday, Gary!" And she flashes him. I'm like, "Who? First of all, who would do that on a first date?" And second of all, if I was the bachelorette up there, a guy did that. Oh, you know how much hate they would have on that show? What? Oh, she was covered. She wasn't well, actually naked. And then it's like you, she already showed him the goods, so why would he pick her? You know. My- <laughs> you do wilder stuff with people you don't even know. I've had a jacuzzi moment where I've seen you just wild, just taking off your pants, so don't even. <laughs> okay. That's an edit. <laughs> That's not an edit. Leave it in. Because you are also wild. If you were on the show, I just could picture my mom on that show. Like, it was, first of all, I think that was very innovative. I get what you're saying about maybe the, like, flashing, okay, and maybe. I get it. It's a show, and you're, they're yeah. supposed to be over the top. Yeah. I get that. Okay. But that one, that was stuck out. Mm, just okay. saying. Yeah. But you were a little hater on it because you're like inappropriate. If a guy did that to you, you wouldn't be like, okay, keeping this one well, around. Gary was like, mm, he didn't. Of course. He was not shy. 
He oh, appeared my. to be at the, you know, at the beginning. No, I don't think he. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, it's also with really his life. heartbreaking because everyone's so much older, and you're like, this might be their last shot at love, and maybe they're like, oh man, this was like my big break to like find someone because it's hard to find someone at your age. I mean, you at anyone at sixties, you always talk about not that you look well because you are. You go on the apps once in a while and t- take down the apps. You find guys, and they're either they act too old, or you find young guys that are too like it's hard to find someone your age. They're too bossy, or they don't have kids. They're really spoiled, or guys our age are looking for uh, three decades younger women. Well, not Gary. So, well, I did read an article where he said you could throw a couple twenty five year olds in there. No, what? Allegedly, I, yeah. Allegedly, did you read the article or I not? Did. <laughs> She's but I don't know safe. who wrote the article oh, if they okay. just made that up. So, <laughs> yes, allegedly though, knowing that I have to get references next time. But okay, so interesting. <laughs> well, I don't. Be- I can't believe that because they come. They have him really sweet, and they come across as like he has this lake house for his wife. Like he's. I think to make that work, you kind of almost have to be widowed too, because like it's like you lost love of your life, so you'd also have to lose love of your life to like find each other. And I think that's how they pick the women. Well, I think they either <sighs> lost someone, or you know, they're just. They don't really get into the background of them. They didn't really get into, like, if they... I guess some of them did say they were married and divorced or whatever. Yeah, maybe divorced once. But they said he hasn't dated since 2017. Yeah, so that's, like, plenty of time to, like... What? I'm sure. Really? When was the last time you dated? When was the last time you were at a serious relationship? 2017. Or when... I just dated, though. But he probably dated me. Oh, you think he just hasn't dated anyone? That's what they said in the article. (laughs) (laughs) What article? We need to source it up. Oh my gosh. Yeah, well, I guess that makes sense. I mean, it's just hard to date. I don't know. I just think it's like hard to find someone. It is, especially out here in Southern California. Because you, you, you find guys. Player. There's always something. My mom does go on good dates. It's either they want to split a meal with her. One guy really liked her, but you did not like him. He was kind of cute. He kind of looked like a Gary. Oh, he was bossy too. He was <laughs> and, on date. and we had to split a meal again. It's like I didn't get to choose. It's like he, he took the, her to like a, a concert by the water and it was like a Korean pop star. Oh, and yes. I, looked up, I looked him up and do you remember his name? It no, was you so want me to say it? No, the, the Korean pop star. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not exciting. Um, no, not he was like 19 or 20, it was like it was 19 21. Korean pop star, and all these people were younger on them. It's they like, my, all, I know. <laughs> and he kept trying to like make out with my mom and like all this stuff with them. I'm like, oh I my know. God. He's like, grind. I'm like, uh, do you see these young kids? I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and we love that for you. He was age appropriate. He was like 70, so that was like, yeah. He was, and he was like a professional soccer player at the time. So. Oh my God, just oh give out all the information. Yeah, he was really cute. I was shocked. My mom was like, I'm yeah. not into it. Like, she was not into it. Because you say you don't like one. Well, he was more into himself. He was selfish that way. Well, what do you, what's your ideal? You don't want to get married. You just want, like... A lot of those women seem to want to get married. I, but I'd want somebody compatible. Something that you want to, you know, go for your trips with or out for dinner. I want just always have my own place, though. Companionship, I don't want to live with somebody again. I've done that. And it's too easy for them to just say, hey, get out. You're, I'm done. You <laughs> never like, know, though. You might meet a guy that just sweeps your feet, cooks for you every night, takes out the trash. Like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that is what I'm looking for. <laughs> That's what I think is love. Oh, my God. I think it's Everything. That's true. I never said never, but you know. I think it will. I think you. I think it could be someone that like that. Like if someone had this like gorgeous house and they had a full staff and like move in with me. We'll have your clothes set out every night for you and gourmet meals oh. and traveling and yeah. Okay. Call me. <laughs> Call me. Or Gary with his lake house. You wouldn't want to just go walk at the lake house. They had well, a swing. I think that's why these women are just so brazen with him because he's good looking and he's respectful you know and he's a good catch and I think they just think like you maybe it's their last chance to find somebody decent well you just don't find anyone decent he's no. gone through a background check so you know he's not like a psycho you know what I mean right. so I think that's right. so, that's why I wanted you to be on it I remember seeing it in the Zach episode of Bachelor and I was like oh my god mom you have to apply I'm shocked they didn't call you when I see I mean the women are beautiful well, I am too but here I am it's <laughs> crazy well that's why we're doing this and by the way yeah. we're gonna put it out there if you would like to date my mom um um, maybe we'll have you on the show. I don't know. But my email is YouTube at yahoo.com. Oh, I didn't know this part of the video. Mom, you do. Know, also, Uh-oh. you can buy my Birkin with that email. So <laughs> <laughs> buy my mom or buy my Birkin. <laughs> I answer to both. <laughs> Who? What's your type? Do you have a type? Oh, well, actually, what's your type? But I think you should go against your type. So say your type and then we'll go against it. <laughs> so if you're this, don't apply. My type that I've always gone with, that's really not my type, but I just end up with it. They're short and skinny <laughs> and no personality. <laughs> <laughs> that's your type? <laughs> that's not my type. That's who I mean, you that's dated. what they turn out to be. Okay, so opposite and of that apply. <laughs> that's very Taylor Swift coded. That, that's oh my, like, what? Mm-hmm. Matt Healy? <laughs> I would like somebody like Chris Farley, like funny okay. and... 
Which was another thing I didn't like about The Bachelor. There was no size differences. Well, they did have one little tubby, and she was the... She was the... (laughs) No, I'm a little tubby, too. Uh, I can say it. It's like, you know, you can make fun of your own She was not perfect like all the other women. But she was the joke of the show. She was the butt of the joke. She wasn't actually supposed to be there. She was like the joke. Like, haha, this woman is like, oh my god. And shame on them for that. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Why would anybody then who's a little heavier apply? You know, yeah. It's like... The Bachelor, the regular so Bachelor's like that, too. They never have, like, really? thick or any sort of different body type. Everyone's, like, a stick. And these women were very, very thin. Yeah. It was very interesting. Very thin. Kind of, yeah. Well, that's well, it's like sad. Your, your generation, though, is very into obsessed with, like, being skinny, I feel. Because, like, growing up, we were always really into dieting and just, like, diets in general. And Well, I think only because, you know, my mom was heavier. Mm-hmm. And I... I was never embarrassed, but I always thought she'd feel probably happier if she, you know, was a little thinner. Because I remember her going to PTA meetings, and I think she felt so uncomfortable because she only had one dress, and yeah, she, you know, it's like you were scared, like you were scared maybe of like being big like that. I just wanted my children to be proud of me. Oh, oh my gosh, <laughs> that's, that's I mean, you wow. know, wow, oh my Not gosh, that I wasn't proud of my mom, but you know, well, I would she could have taught of you me more. Either way. <laughs> like exercising I never I knew nothing about that I'm like wait you exercise you were such an exercise fiend we had Richard Simmons videos the fit we had like oh yeah my 20s you had, and- no but when I was a teenager you had all mm-hmm. those videos you were doing the fit in the living room and stuff like that you were slim fast you were always very into it but it is crazy people in their like 60s like you guys don't look like you're in your 60s like the, the golden girls were in their 50s when that was out and like so it's weird to see these women like there is one that's like 71 that he really likes who's blonde and she's like really pretty and I was like wow like gives you hope for like and the, and I love the fact that they're so about love and just having fun and that they're doing this show. Like, I'm like, wow. Like, they don't lose the spirit. A lot of people are like, you know, I don't feel my age. And I'm like, that's that's the best thing is, like, when you don't feel your age and when you still have hope, you know? I always think, like, oh, my God, when you're 60s, it's like, where's the hope? You know what I mean? But I feel like you still have hope. You still have lots of hope for life and you love your life. And mm-hmm. and I feel like if I find somebody, I'm not looking, you know, but I feel like if I find somebody or somebody just happens to come, it'll be because somebody knows them or, you know, I think we're good together. Or... Mom, you're on this show to be the golden bachelorette. Oh, Someone's okay. going to find you. <laughs> so it'll be you. Yes. Yes. Me. yes. No, I mean, I'm yeah. Oscar. <laughs> Oscar, do you know anyone? Oscar's in a different area of the LA. No, he's no, so close. Bali, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's really yeah. close. He's by, yeah, well, he's by like a fancy mall and stuff like that. that yeah, we go I didn't know. Yeah. scouting. Mm-hmm. Do you know anyone off him? Not off him. Really? <laughs> no, off him. It's okay, going to be well, something that. Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can find someone for sure. Well, yeah, me and Moses met on a very hard. similar like dating kind of situation. So I always think there's hope, you know. Someone out there will see it slide into your DMs. First, I don't know how to get into them. <laughs> What, your DM? Yeah, my DM. You, what? On Instagram? I don't know how. Now you sound like Gary. <laughs> Gary was just like, how do you do an email? I was like, oh my God, why do they make these old people sound like they don't know how to do anything for themselves? Hey, I really learned TikTok, okay? Yeah, but you learned it. You learned it. Okay, which one do you think he'll end up with on Gary? You know, I think it's the one that's the, the dancer. She the dancer. Da- she had the strapless black lace. Kind oh, of like was, she looked good. How old was she? And he looked up and down her too. I don't know. <laughs> Mom, this is the show. It's dating. He sees these women. But he didn't do that to all the women. Well, there's he, obviously some that are his I mean, he and was, some that are not. He was gracious in that. Yeah, he was nice to all of them. Uh, what would have been your gimmick coming out of the limo? I don't know. The chicken farm girl or whatever so got my eggs. It's like, honey, you do not have your eggs. Wait, <laughs> no. Come on. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> And then she slaps herself on her butt. I'm like, oh, oh. I didn't see that one. Did we what? see the chicken girl? The chicken <laughs> eggs? <laughs> I did like the woman who came out on her motorcycle, though. I could have liked to do something that like that. That wasn't fair. Why did she get to come out by herself? Everyone else had to be the limo with everybody. Because she was in the, He liked her the best. He gave her the first impression of Rose. I don't know their names yet. I got to get to know I their know, names. I don't either. It seems like it goes fast. It seems like he's going to be making out with everyone. Would you have? Get, there was people that gave him kisses the first night. But it was only an hour. And I heard they yeah. only did an hour because it couldn't stay up any later. Oh, my God. What? Which is probably true, <laughs> but, you no. know. They, can, they have Hulu. You can rewatch it on Hulu. It's not like it's over already because I was haven't fast. watched Bachelor for years, but... I always thought it was two hours. Yeah. Would you have kissed on the first night? Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mom judging all them and being like, well, obviously. Do you kiss on the first date? Do I? Yeah. If this age, you got to. You don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. <laughs> there is something. Even us meeting, we were older. Like, he was at, like, 40. I was, like, 30. I don't know, 42. I was, like, 31. And it's, like, something about being older, you're just, like, 
I mean, yeah, it's like there's no time to waste. So it's kind of nice because you don't have to like worry about like dilly dallying and being yeah, like, if you whatever. like them. I mean, if you don't, it's like, no. Yeah, but you know faster because I feel like you can go on one date and mm-hmm. not know or know if right. you'd like them or not. Right. What do you love about your golden era, the golden ages that you're currently in? Uh, well, I, you know, I, I live by myself, so I could eat whatever I want. <laughs> what is I, want? I can take a nap when I want. I'm like... You can do this if you have a partner. No. You can go lay down. Like, what are you, why are you on the couch sleeping after I worked, like, 10-hour day and that? It's like, oh, <laughs> oh my, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Which is why I have to keep my own place, you know? I mean, yeah, it'll, he'll be a hit, and if you are having this little show later, but... Um, yeah, you have to be optimistic about this. If no one's going to want to date you if you're like, I don't want to see anyone. I want my own house. I need to lay alone. Like, they're going to be like, well, I'll take a nap with you. Like, I'll e- eat with you. I'll go to Bali with you or Bora Bora. <laughs> I don't know. What? That's- but I have to order my own food. That's a requirement. I only go to Bali as a date. I won't do anything else. Oh, my gosh. Bali, you know. What should they know about you if they want to date you? Like, must love what? You know, there's people who say, like, must love dogs, must love this. Mm-hmm. Like, just must love me okay <laughs> i am not picky at that must but. love you what's like the yeah. three biggest things you want in a companionship um sense of humor mm-hmm. for sure you want to laugh. honesty not a party boy you know and um likes to sleep <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay. Well, I mean, everyone older I mean, will like to sleep. Likes to sleep when I sleep. Mom, like, oh my gosh. <laughs> this is why you're not in a relationship. You just to let him sleep when he wants to sleep. It doesn't have to be when you want to sleep. Well, you know, I, I've gone to bed, because I've always worked early in the morning, so I've always had to go to bed, and then they would come like four or five hours later. That is not really good for your relationship. Well, I think at your age. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. They're going to be retired. Saying. No one's going to be really working. Okay, at good point. <laughs> Well, they they won't be coming home at like four in the morning or whatever like that. They'll just be able to be at home with you. True, true. What's your ideal rest of your life look like? Like you find a companion. Like are you traveling? Are you going out to eat? Are you going to the beaches? Are you hiking mountains? Are you on cruises? Like what's what's your ideal dream rest of your life for the next ten years with someone? You know, we all need to be ambitious and exercise. And I can do the gym. I can do a few (laughs) hikes a month. But you know, I'm not gonna go. I don't like to. I don't like winter sports. Okay, what do you like? <laughs> what do you like? I like I like the beach. I like okay. I like that. I like to um, <laughs> sit out, watch the ocean, have wine. I like make a little picnic lunch. Okay. I love good food, which I don't usually get, but thank goodness <laughs> Trisha and Moses make their lasagna weekly, so I do get that. <laughs> oh my god! I'm so appreciative. <laughs> So That's when we go out, we're not going out for Italian. I'm oh, just saying. Okay, no, but you could be you love Italian. Olive Garden. We always go there for lunch. <laughs> yes, we love Olive Garden. You love the fettuccine. So people, the Italians will say that's fake Italian food. Okay, so okay, you love the beach. That's good. You love a picnic. You love the I beach. I do like to travel. I, uh, but Lord, you got to find the right partner. You know, if so, yeah. I don't want to go with somebody who's worse me. You know, that would be awful. Yeah, or someone who like tries to kill you or something. My mom watches so much true crime. That needs to be ex. <laughs> <laughs> out exactly <laughs> well you watch your crime you're the one who's like oh my god it's always the spouse she always thinks i just told moses i'm like if i die like he doesn't want to take insurance out on me he doesn't want to be on like the bank accounts like no your mom's gonna think i killed you if something ever happens to you and i was like you have to do this for our sake but well i have laid off of them so you're okay moses you don't watch your crime anymore <laughs> you're okay you don't watch your crime anymore not a lot it's good Thank it god. was affecting me Oh my god, my mom would come over every day and tell me about someone new and some stories. She'd always tell me about Army Hammer. I'm like, oh my god, mom, stop. Like I don't well, want to that hear that was, yeah. You were no Army Hammers. No. Okay, who's your but. celebrity crush? Like who's like physically someone that Ooh. you would like to look for? I don't have that in my notes. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, back into your notes. Who is um, it? Who are you thinking of? I don't of? know if I have a celebrity crush. Healing my I inner know throat. who it is. Um his dad was I don't remember his name. His dad was on King of Queens. That guy is he was the name, on the right? he was on a movie yeah. <laughs> where he was a model <laughs> with Owen Wilson. They, they oh, do ben that. Oh, oh ben yes. Stiller. Yeah, he was on King of Queens. Huh? He was on King of Queens. His, his dad. dad. His oh. dad. Oh. His dad. So, so you're a fan of Ben Ziller or the dad? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Is he like that? The dad ben, was ben Stiller. I thought we thought he was cute. Interesting. What a weird celebrity crush that is. That's Why? He's short and skinny, though. That's, I guess your top oh, type. He's very he's little. Hot. Okay, so someone like Ben Stiller. The sense of humor, I guess, you like. I like tall. But Ben's but so short. Should... <laughs> and everybody dated a he's short. He's just my celebrity crush. I don't okay, mean okay, okay. go you out like with tall. him. He's also married, but tall. I like tall. Okay. Some hair. <laughs> Do you care about that? If they have hair or not? You know, I know there's some really good looking bald men, but... 
Have you ever dated a bald guy? I have. Have you dated a bald guy? Never. Me neither. I see them on a lot of these dating shows, like Love is Blind and stuff like that. I'm like, oh, that's so interesting. <laughs> bald is interesting. Bald, like, just but- to see a head all the time. Because I think okay. heads are, like, toes. Like, you don't want to see them. And, like, bald heads. Oh, oh my God. I have a horrible bald. I have, like, a bumpy, <laughs> bumpy big head. <laughs> Wouldn't that terrify? I mean, look. No. You know what? Here's the thing. If I, like, lost my hair or something, I honestly would probably rock a bald head. I don't think oh. I would look good. But I think you would still love me with a bald head. I never need someone balding. Like a guy mm. receding hairline. I prefer bald over balding. Don't yeah, shave it. At yeah. that point. was a thing in the 60s, though. Bald wasn't a thing back then. Oh, like a comb over? Mm, mm-hmm. Interesting. So you don't mind bald. <laughs> You know your celebrity crushes? You know, I'm not picky, really. I mean, if you're a good person and I like you, we're good. <laughs> Let's just sum it up like that. Okay, well. <laughs> so you're just open to anything. I think you need to go I against am. your normal type. Because I'm like, not perfect. Yeah, it's true. But you are pretty great. You, My mom is very... She doesn't have a temper. She doesn't get mad. She's very go with the flow. My mom, as much as you say you like to do your own thing, like I've seen you in relationships. I see you with me. I see you with our family. Mm-hmm. You're very go with the flow. Like if someone wants you to do something, you just you're like, yeah, let's do it. You don't complain, even if you're like not about something. You just you just go with the flow. And I feel like you're happy. Like every time you're with a guy, you kind of and, that, and it's not a bad thing because I kind of do this too. You kind of morph into the person you're with. Yeah. And so I think that in a way that's a good thing. That means you're easygoing. And, you know, just got to be with the right influence. But I think it's good. You're very – most girls well, are very set in their ways. You're kind of – I think it's good to do activities together, especially when you're older. Yeah. You know, if you don't have anything in common, what are you going to do? You split up and then come back for the early bird special? I don't know, you know? You love an early bird special. I love <laughs> I an early, early bird special. We love a 5 o'clock dinner. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking 4. <laughs> oh, yeah. The 4 and o'clock. Bed, and to bed by 8. You know? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Early bedtimes always. We're always in bed by 8, too. But yeah. I think that's a good thing because, like, if a guy's really into, like, let's say you meet a guy so into sailing, like, you're going to go sailing with them because that's, like – you're just that girl. Oh, I don't know about sailing <laughs> Did you see because I've seen a lot of crime shows where. Mm, oh my god! Oh, <laughs> Those I, that whales. That will not be a date. <laughs> <laughs> the whales. You do group trips down to like Mexico, and that's not you. But if a guy wants you to do it, you're like, okay, let's go do it. Like you've done that before, and you're like, oh, I don't want to be around these people, but you go. Okay, that was ten years ago. I'm a little. Uh, no, well, I feel like oh, the concert, the the Korean pop star concert you went to. That's not something you would do, but you're like, all right, let's do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You're going with the flow. Every minute of it. Oh, my, my God. I did. That's like. But there's those, like, relationships where you're, like, go and be go to the spots they like to go to. And you're very that yeah. person. Yeah. You yeah. got into, like, football. What were you doing? Monday Night Football or something? What were you betting oh. on things? Sports yeah, or something? Like a pool. She was, like, going yeah, to, like, this bar okay, to bet on bucks. sports. I was like, oh, my God. Who are you? And I was like, even it after was the breakup. It was a hangout in Hermosa Beach. <laughs> bet you're going to just give you a plug. Oh. You don't want to say what it is? Oh, Irx. Irx <laughs> Shout out Erks and Hermosa yeah, Beach. Go play fantasy football. My name, was it fantasy football? I don't even know what you did. No, yeah, I was just regular football. What, have you ever dated an athlete? No. <laughs> have no. you ever dated... Oh, the soccer guy, though. I guess he was an oh, athlete. yeah. Have true. you ever dated an artist, like a creative type? Yes. I don't like... Well, sorry, guys, but... <laughs> Mom, my son, just, Mom, she's not picky. I know, me she doesn't well. want athletes or artists, creative people. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, you know. What about a businessman? A lawyer, a businessman, like a lawyer or a... No, just a regular person. What? <laughs> unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> that is her type. She loves an unemployed. No, because, you know, when I look on the dating online, the thing that, like, oh, I have to be, like, a, essentially as smart as me. Okay. Is that what they say? Well, in, in terms, not like that, but, okay. yeah. But so, if, you, if you date someone that's, like, smarter or whatever, that you will learn more. You'll, like, have more. I'm more, huh? You'll learn I, more. When I more have common sense and just general knowledge. <laughs> someone with common sense. Okay. <laughs> Um, yes, def- that would be one. <laughs> okay. And who likes sugar-free Red Bull? Who oh likes coffee? <laughs> who likes coffee in the morning on the terrace overlooking the beach, the ocean? <laughs> <laughs> That's Gary. You could have been in the lake house with him and I watching know. over back in. Where's he from? Michigan or Indiana or something? What's that going to overlook? Oh, a lake. The lake. Yeah. <laughs> We're from the Midwest, so if you like a Midwest girl, my mom grew up on a farm. <laughs> But she doesn't have her eggs. <laughs> Maybe you do. Have you ever thought about it? Have you just checked them? I'm pretty sure I don't. Isn't that crazy sure, though? Like, yeah. Someone could get pregnant. People have, was it Brigitte Nelson got pregnant when she was like 60 or something? Mm-hmm. It's crazy. It could happen. <laughs> yeah. What's one thing that would a guy would totally knock you off your feet? You're like, oh, okay, yes, I changed my whole mind about guys. Like what's one thing they could do that would just totally knock your mm. socks off? Come and get me. Pick me up. <laughs> At your the house? Last- That's the most unsafe thing if they know where you live. Well, I would know him. You mean just a first date? Oh, okay. You want someone to a constantly. first date? Yeah. First date, you never. Like, what's something they can email and that's, like, that email's going to grab you. You're going to be like, oh, man, oh, this well, person. Oh, well, if they say, oh, you want to go to Vegas and we'll have to take the helicopter there. 
or my plane. <laughs> the private jet. <laughs> this is, you should have a bachelor. These are the dates the bachelors go on, not regular people. Would I get in there though? I don't know because I watch <laughs> true crime. I just like you don't know. They might oh throw you out there. But that would be cool though. Okay, a helicopter drink to Vegas. Yeah, just okay. like or fly me to Paris for dinner. I've never <laughs> you know, mom, this is not like casual dating. I've never went out with a rich guy. Okay, and never <laughs> ever. I'm you sorry. Want a rich guy? I would like a rich guy. Yeah. No, they're gonna be good trouble. Mom, um, you uh, you go on two you extremes. Me. You're either like rich guy, or they live with like roommates or something like that. You need to find like a just a balance. Okay, just, if you live with a roommate, that's no. You were you were like hanging out with people that live in like a basement or something. You remember that one guy was a robber that like lived in someone's couch on his basement. Oh, and he was a doctor. <laughs> I don't think he was a doctor. My mom was like, kind of I met a Yeah. You think I met a doctor. But he said he was a, a Mom, why was he living on someone's couch in the basement? He was cheap, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> my mom. Wait, do you want to say anything, Oscar? Oh, my mom. <laughs> I, I love my, my mom. Mouth best podcast. Oscar, you want to say something? I out, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but well, I guess would you date someone who's a fan of Trisha? Like, does that mm. matter to you? No, because then they just try and get it through from me to her. But what if they just were like a fan? They're just like a fan, and they're like, "Oh, I love Trisha. She's so funny." No. Oh, mm. <laughs> well, what the hell? <laughs> no, that'd be weird. Okay, so someone probably watching this will probably know someone that'll like want to date you. Maybe that's how it is, and that's okay. Yeah, then, if they, yeah, yeah that would. Be I mean, that's fine. That a friend to be okay. of a friend. They can like yeah. you, but they like if they say, "Oh, I love Trisha." Well, you know, I wouldn't expect you to date someone like that. Yeah, yeah. no, oh. no. I feel like most of your boyfriends like didn't really like it. The one, the one, the Conan one, he was always really nice to us and liked us. And it was fun. Mm-hmm. I feel like the other ones maybe not so much. Yeah, and you don't want to get married, or you do want to get married. No. There's, I don't I don't see a reason to get married at our age. But you're open, you know? open to it. I, I know why people get, well, I guess they want to get married, but also the tax break for marriage is better. Not Moses. <laughs> he gets the opposite of a tax break. He like owes taxes because of me. Yeah, it's like weird. We don't get a tax That's break. That's weird. It's very weird. I don't know what happens. Something happened where it shifts where he's like now in like, I don't know, it's like this tax bracket. We're all in this like high tax bracket where we pay too much money or, or something. Or maybe when... <laughs> It's like, you I have don't know. no money like I did. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> so what? What kind of occupation is your ideal occupation for a guy to have? Mm-hmm. <sighs> well, definitely some kind of job. You don't want to be retired at your age? Like you guys could travel together? Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So like a retired but a lot guy. of people are still working at my age and, and seventy. True. And so, would you do a long distance relationship <laughs> then? Like, or do they have to be local? Well, that's just like you know, this bachelor's like, who's going to want to move to Indiana? Well, some of these women. <laughs> you probably. would. You would be the girl to move there. No, Mom, if I, you know, love. I don't know. You I would. would. I I've been not by my family for decades, and now that I am, I don't want to give that up. Hmm, okay, so it has to be but, local, maybe. I mean, you can travel back and forth. Yeah, that actually would be the ideal I was situation. Say, I think that is true. <laughs> Someone see them, lets you sleep. And- yeah, see them like once a week, uh, one a uh, one week a month, and then the rest of the time have your own off night. You would love that relationship, right? And I was going to say, you know, I think because I've had a job where I've been around people all the time, like hospitality, like you know, hairdressing and bartending, and it's just like at this point, I, not that I'm sick of being around people, but you know. 40 years of that, you kind of like your alone time. Yeah. That's so, why I just need, like, a companion. Like, I'm the same way. I don't like right. to be out with people. Like, I just like to have someone. Like, to converse, it's like, I've done that, you know? Yeah, you Go to a party, it's like, ah, oh, I, I, you know. You just need, like, something just, easy. Like, just, like you said, traveling. Yeah, just, yeah. Eating, that kind of right. stuff. Which I think you could find. And by the way, we're open to abroad as well. Like, I was in Chicago 90 Day Fiance. So we could have a 90 Day Fiance moment over here. I'll make sure they're not scammers. But sometimes there's some good ones on there. So I think if you're a 90 Day Fiance, I just like the idea of traveling to India. So if you're from India, that would be great too. You want to travel gonna, there? I would love to go. Bollywood. You remember I was trying to get you with that guy from Lost, Naveen okay, Andrews? Yes. You know Naveen Andrews? Do yeah. I bring this up? Have I brought this up before? No. Wait, you know him though? Yeah. How do you know him? Because from Lost, right? Yeah. 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 Oh my god, no one knows that name. So once again, the email is Trisha Paytas YouTube at yahoo.com <laughs> and send a picture. Send a picture oh. and um, no catfish. No catfish? Is that what you said? <laughs> okay, yeah, definitely no catfish. We'll is that the word for chat. it? Yeah, we'll do a <laughs> background. background. <laughs> I'm pretty good at background. I can like detect like BS emails from real, even with the Birkin. I know when someone's like real and someone's not. Update there's this, uh, there's these TikTok boys called the Angel Boys and they collect Birkins. Did you know this? Did you see this? Or oh, I, just, I, I knew the island boys. <laughs> Okay. Uh, wait, I don't know. Not them. Uh, the Angel Boys. They had emailed me and they're like looking for the Birkin, but I never heard back from them. the Angel Boys. Uh, if you want, I thought this might be a real one because they have a lot of followers. They're like British. They wanted this rainbow Birkin. They're like pride Birkin. They're these two guys that like love Birkins. Buy my Birkin. Anyways. <laughs> so are you going to watch The Bachelor next week? I am. You I'm are. probably vested, yes. So they did hook you. 
well, you know, the previews that are coming up are just like, and Gary's like, I, I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. It's such a mind work. We were talking about this earlier, like with things. It's just like when you're isolated and you're in this like surreal experience, it, like your emotions are so high. Everything just feels more intense. And, and I think with the older woman, it's even worse because yeah, there's, yeah. they're thinking they're the one, you know? And, and like you say, he's kind of leads them on, but that's the show. That's the show. I actually couldn't see, I could see on the show and I couldn't see you. Cause I was like, I don't know if my mom's like competitive. Cause they have to like grab, grab him to have like a thing. Like, can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? I don't know if you would you have a Red Bull, I guess, before you go on and <laughs> my mom will be, but you can turn it on. You can turn it on with, well, of course I can, but it's like, I'd see them women and be like, for real. I mean, are they for real? I mean, is that Wait, really what? them? Or are they just doing this for TV? You know, oh, they're so wow. out there. It's like, and some are just corny. I'm like, <laughs> oh my. Oh my god, this is what we need to edit it right here. <laughs> <laughs> really would she be the villain? If you were <laughs> she, why not? Would be the villain. She's the one everyone wants out. They'll be like, what? I'd be like, well, you know, they hired people to, you know, talk about the show. And so I'm just being honest. And they <laughs> won't be. Because they're getting paid. I'm not. Who, so uh, who's getting paid to talk about it? The uh, influencers. Yeah. Oh, right. The partnerships. Right. Oh, you're not. And so they're you're all being... going to be like, oh, it's okay. Great, I love it. Well, it's you like know. a grandma who's like 98 years old. It's Grandma Doriac or whatever on TikTok. Uh, she got paid and that's everything. I was like, 98? Yes. Yeah. What's your final say to this camera? What would you say to the the men? You know, just try it. Send a picture. Send <laughs> your bio. <laughs> you know, I am goofy. I don't always mean what I say, you know. <laughs> just having but fun. Yeah. My you mom's going to silly goofy today. Easy. Not easy that way, but I'm, you know. I'm easy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm easy. <laughs> Just fun loving. That's, you know. Uh, All right, you guys. Well, The Golden Bachelorette is my mom. Watch The Golden Bachelor on ABC. Not sponsored. We love Gary. I think the women are great. I love that they're still, like, hoping for love at that age. Like, I don't think you should ever give up on love mm-hmm. and companionship mm-hmm. and all that stuff. Because you just never know. You might meet the love of your life at 70. Some people do. And I think a lot of people say, you know, you'd rather have, like, five good years with the love of your life than, like, a lifetime being miserable or something like that. So if you find the love of your life at the end of your life. You know, I guess I just never found anybody that has my back. You know, mm-hmm. so it just you kind of, you know, think, well, that person's not out there, you know. Well, you never know. You yes. just might find him. He on. is. Oh. <laughs> optimistic. Go pessimistic. Optimistic. Oh, that's a roller coaster. Like a roller coaster. <laughs> not that I know where the camera is. If you want to jump on this roller coaster <laughs> right here, Trisha Payne is YouTube at yahoo.com. My mom is so fun. She's so sweet. And she's in her golden era. So if you're in your golden era of love, hit us up. Guys, thank you for watching Just Trish. Find my mom on social media. She's Mama Got Back pretty much everywhere. Mama Got Back. Love that. Oh my gosh. Does Mama Got Back. Cheers to that. Mama Cheers to that. Back. And the sugar-free Red Bull, everybody. <laughs> Mine's gone. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, it's golden back. Here we go. She might be back. All right, here we go. Cheers.